Yeah. Okay, so we we should be live. Cool. Ugh. All right, so I just have to like teleport over to like the thing, and you know, and uh, like I I kind of feel like we shouldn't waste much time on this, really. <laughs> on just general chatting. And uh, cause like, cause we're already starring late and st ah, no, man. I don't really have anything to talk about. Uh, I was I was supposed to get my uh, my Digimon Vital bracelet today, but uh, there were some shipping delays, so I'm gonna get your it tomorrow. Your Digimon Vital bracelet. Vital bracelet. Oh, for a second I was like, oh, for those Digimon Idol shows. No. Man, like, why don't they? Well, I know someone probably has like. Anna, why don't they make Digimon Idol shows? Guarantee there's a, a Digimon based on a pop idol. There has to be. Like, I guess if you really think about it, is Hatsune Miku not a Digimon? No, because her name doesn't end in Mon. <laughs> That's like... It's like the one common, usual common, the commonality between uh, Digimon is that their names end in Mon. <laughs> so hear me out, but what if Hatsune Miku was like a champion level though? What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> but what if she is and she's just keeping it hidden? <laughs> Her name is Dindin Mon. <laughs> but what if it does and we just don't know? <clears throat> ah, so you just teleported to Tomra. Oh, there you are. Hey. Yeah. Right. That's a Darth I want to get to, because, like, I, I guess we're going straight from, like, cringe into cringe then. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> like, so yeah, there's like some guy on one of the YouTube uploads for like the Digimon podcast that oh, just boy. yeah. I, I think you know where I'm going with this, right? I I don't because I don't I haven't seen it. <laughs> so there's like one guy who posted a link to like a B Stars furry fan comic he did. Oh no. <laughs> And I believe my exact response was something like, like, first off, you like, just post the link, and he's like, oh yeah, this is for, like, Romon and stuff, and he's like, don't worry, it's SFW. Mm-hmm. I, like, exact response was something like, I am both concerned and intrigued. So I, so I checked it out. Oh, no. Yeah, it's it, it's safe for work technically, but it's also pretty much exactly what you're kind of expecting. <laughs> it's literally like, oh, like Lugosi from B Stars just meets Rinamon and they get chased by like the Zootopia cops and have to deal with like Carmelita Fox from Sly Cooper or something, and then Rinamon just has sex and lays an egg. Great, I hate it. <laughs> <clears throat> now, nah, like, I I will be positive, right? Because <laughs> it's don't. like, <laughs> yo, know, well, like, yo, know, that was that was an interesting experience, yo. Know, I I will like encourage people to just post more weird crap like that, <laughs> partially because it's funny and partially because I'm actually interested in what the heck people are gonna send us. <laughs> There's a quote from John Tron that uh, sums up my feelings on this. And it's, uh, follow your dreams, but not this hard. Not so much that this happens. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, like... Man, you know that, like, that super cartoony, like, you know, like, sexy music they play or whatever? I, I think I yeah, I think yeah that's that's just what just hit you with the first episode it's like oh 
Oh, wait, episode. Like, you did YouTube videos? Yeah, it's like, it's ten quote-unquote like episodes, and they're each like, you know, like a quick six-page chapter, and it's like about a minute long each or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a very weird way to do it. Like, from what I gather, apparently he, like, commissioned, like, an actual, like, you know, artist or whatever to, like, just draw the comic and, he, like, told them what to put in it. So it's yeah. like, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, furries are weird. Yeah. There's an entire chapter just called, like, something about yipping. <laughs> Ugh. It's like, oh, oh, we going in, aren't we? <laughs> Death might be uh, nice about this. I'm not going to be. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'm gonna be realistic and saying, like, yo, it's, it's not great. <laughs> yeah, I and mean, it's yeah. not that I've never written anything cringy in my life, but like, yeah, I, I, I don't make these things public. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's also not furry. <laughs> Yeah. Like, if they did specifically post a video saying, hey, check this out, I don't think I'd be talking about it, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was like a fun little, like, adventure, I guess. Um, artwork's surprisingly good. Like, I guess, part of the I, I guess, have, yeah. I guess it'd be nice in this sense, but, uh... If you want to be creative and make stuff, go for it. Don't, yeah. Don't let someone like me dissuade you from doing what you like. Yeah, just follow your dreams, man. Heck yeah. People like me exist, though. Oh so yeah, absolutely. You're gonna have to deal with it. Yeah, follow your dreams, but like also be prepared for realistic outcomes, I guess would be the best way to sum it up. Yeah. Yeah, like... Follow your dreams, but if you put yourself out there too hard, people are going to make fun of you. <laughs> that's that's probably a good life lesson in general. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You know, like, no matter how people make fun of you, at least you did the thing you wanted to do, right? Yeah. It's probably a healthy attitude to have. Uh, you know what? Since we're here... Yeah. Uh, uh, what's up? But yeah, I just wanted to give that a quick mention, because they did specifically, like, send it, like, to the channel. I wanted to be, like, cool about it. Oop. Wait, where'd you go? Anywhere. I'm just gonna, like, roll over to the quest objective while I'm, like, talking about Ram Crap. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> I feel like, yeah, oh. we, we took a good mid on that. <laughs> Considering the quest you're on, I'm surprised it's not back there at the dwarf village. Yeah, it really should be. Hmm. Yeah. I also checked out Into the Woods, like, the actual, like, you know, stage show. I have no idea what that is. Is a comedy musical... That's hmm. like satiring like fairy tale characters and stuff by just doing like all of them at once. Shrek. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like unironically, pretty much. I guess. Wait, is uh, maybe that's not fair? Which came first? Uh, I'm pretty sure Shrek did come first, but it's like it doesn't really matter because it's like a different medium and everything. <laughs> I mean, the plot can still be stolen from Shrek, though. Yeah, it's... I I wouldn't say the plot's stolen, but I would say it feels very similar. Hmm. The setting, I guess. Would yeah. Like, the... The premise, I guess, or the feel, I guess you'd say, or whatever. Because <laughs> it's like... The whole thing is that it's like, oh, everyone goes, and they, like, yo have their own, like, quests and stuff they will, like, complete. And everyone just gets their big happily ever after. And then Act 2 starts, and it just cuts to everyone just living out their lives, and they're like, oh, this actually isn't that great after all. I kinda hate it. 
Like, there's a big thing where it's like, so the main characters are like this effing baker and his wife, and their whole thing is that it's like, the baker's dad stole magic beans from a witch, so he cursed his, like, family line with infertility. So, like, the baker's trying to get arms together to appease the witch so she'll remove the curse so they can have a kid. And, like, they succeed and they have their kid and he's like, Oh, we don't have enough space for this and raising a kid, like, like raising a child is actually really hard. Hmm. Yeah, and there's like effing like what like Cinderella gets with the prince and she is has like this awkward loveless marriage. <laughs> Just like goofy stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, it's like they, they kill the giant from Jack and the Beanstalk, and the giant's wife shows up for revenge, and they're like, oh god, she's going to kill us all. There's like a whole thing where they have like they have like a narrator that's just off to the side, just you know, telling the audience what's going on and stuff. Everyone just turns and like sacrifices the narrator to the giant. <laughs> you know, it's like this start turning eyes like no, but there has to be so on the outside. You see, you know, like so someone's got to tell the story, and the witch is just like, well, some of us don't like the way you've been telling it. <laughs> But yeah, it's like, probably not like my favorite musical or anything, but it's definitely a lot of fun, you know? It's just up for free just on YouTube, so like, yeah, if anyone's interested, you just check that out. <laughs> oh, man. And yeah, it's like Into the Woods for like clarity. <laughs> uh, so, so I guess we should just start the quest, huh? Yep. Yeah. Nothing else I can really think of to talk about, really. Uh, new cards coming to the Didron card game and stuff. They like they finally got Purple Skull Greymon out. It, it, it took them so long to make like a Virus Skull Greymon card, <laughs> or like a card for like the Evil Set or whatever. But yeah, it's actually surprisingly cool because its whole thing is that it's like. So, like, all purple cards, like, discard cards from your hand and stuff. Mm hmm And Skullgron's whole thing is, like, if he's discarded from your hand, then you can just put him on the bomb of one of your existing Digimon as an evolution source. And he just straight up gives you retaliation. Which means that it's, like, if you die fighting something, you take the other Digimon down with you. Hmm. So it's like you can just discard a card from your hand as like an effect or whatever. It just puts Skull Greymon at the bomb of like a rookie and just send it to like Suicide Bomb and Omnimon. So you're left with an issue where you just have to either take the fall or ignore it. Yeah. Yeah, and I like use it to like take out one big thing. Or you can, like, evolve that Digimon up to something with, like, Digiburst, which is, like, a new skill, where, like, you can discard evolution sources to get an effect going. Hmm. So it's, like, a sub people have been talking about as, like, Crest Gururumon, right? Because he has a big skill where it's, like, he has security attack plus one, which is already super good. And he also has an ability where it's like, you can discard two cards from his evolution sources, and then, like, you get to play a level 3 Digimon from your trash, so like a rookie. So it's like, if you keep discarding Skull Greymons and then using other effects to get them back into your hand, you can just keep using that effect and just keep swarming the field, basically. But yeah, I really need stuff going on with that. And there's also like a bunch of our cards we're getting that have like, you know, weird discard effects to like tie into the archetype and stuff. Jeez, your rod was just flying around, ass looked at the ground, it looked like there's like a bird shadow or something. I was like, what's the overhead? Is that lucky? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, just floating around. 
Yeah. Okay, I'll start the quest now. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've wasted enough of people's time. <laughs> As seek material for the Talos' heart. Out people who may be used to... May be useful for the assist. Uh, there okay. are the... Sorry, what? Oh, it's just like I was saying, if we go fast enough, we can we can clear a dungeon and a boss fight. Yeah. See, I probably should have wasted nearly as much time on, like, Into the Woods and Digimon. <laughs> it's fine. Man, this stream is for nobody. <laughs> it's like, hey, are you a fan of musical theater and Final Fantasy and furry fan fiction? No? Alright. But I would hope... I would assume that most people who follow you are into Digimon, considering that's a ton of the content that we do. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Like, it's honestly like the Digimon podcast specifically is like our most popular stuff. That's cool. Yeah. Because it's like, usually it gets a pretty consistent like around 7 views or something, which is like a huge step up from where I started somehow. It's like the Shaman King videos have been doing as well, but that's probably mostly because, like, the series isn't officially out yet, so, like, yo. Know, people don't want to watch it and get spoiled. Yeah. Well, it's like people aren't, like, as in the discussion as I was kind of expecting, I guess. At least for, like, where we are right now. Yeah. Do people leave comments? Uh, yes, like, sometimes. Yeah. Hmm. Like, it's not often, like, at all, but, like, you know, sometimes I'll, like, say something. Uh, there's actually, like, a really good con string on, like, you know, the Final Fantasy X randomizer. Whereas just, like, you know, a bunch of people that I was just talking to that was, like, giving me advice on the game and stuff, and they're all, like, really cool and, like, helpful. That's neat. Yeah. It's, it's really nice when there's, uh, actual interaction. Like, it, it's cool that people watch, but it's really cool when people, like, actually interact. Yeah. Like, yeah, like most most YouTubers, it's like, oh, yeah, leave your comment below and whatever, and then, like, they probably won't actually read it. If it's a bigger yeah. channel, which is understandable because they're big and they can't actually stop to read every comment. Yeah. But because, uh, because we're a smaller channel, we can actually do that. Yeah, like... The Antilamon video that, like, blew up, or is, like, you know, the sub versus dub comparison of the movie, like, that's, that's had some cons that's probably fallen through the cracks, but, like, I feel like I've done a good job of getting through, like, most of them, and sort of, like, you know, interacting where, like, I felt it was, like, you know, necessary and stuff. I feel like that's part of the reason why that video's, like, taken off so much. Because, like, YouTube just recommended and got going, and then I'm, like, actually, like, involved with people. So that just sort of, like, drives up engagement, I think. Yeah. I should, I should check the comments on your videos occasionally since I'm part of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. I Most of the time, you're not going to find anything at all. Like, 90% of the time. <laughs> yeah, fair, true. Fair enough. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, like, if it would comment something, like, I'm absolutely gonna read the heck out of it. <laughs> uh, you'll find Thols of the village to the northwest, a place called Tom over your rides. Seek on with the chief Zamod, and don't forget to grin with a hearty tally-ho. Right, yeah, yeah, that's a thing. Sorry, were you gonna say something? Lolly-ho. Lolly ho, right. I thought it was Tolly ho. No. For me to join you, Kizud. I'd keep my joints timber and mayhap I can perhaps some manner of assistance. I'll leave the heart to you two then. Variety of board don't matter so long as it's rich with aether. Aim to have my design complete by your return. Man, Lolly Ho feels like it would be a very different game. <laughs> I'm not going to clarify what I mean by that. I, I get it. <laughs> Lolly L A L A L I. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a it's a 
like a made up word, probably. Yeah. How the heck did you get here so fast? I just teleported. Oh, you just teleported to Tomra? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, get screw it. <laughs> yeah, I guess to be fair, like, Lollafell's kind of our lollies, aren't they? No. Well. No. Well. Uh. Eh. I'm pretty sure lolly refers to a body type, but. So, yeah, maybe. It kind. Kind of? But also. But also, Lollafells are kind of dumpy. <laughs> okay, so so how about this, right? Like, if you took a lolly and made them a chibi, it'd be a Lollafell. Sure. I feel like that's pretty apt. <laughs> As some do we see the dwarven folk at the Crystarium, to now be in the presence of so many, she'll enjoy <laughs> not having to crane my neck up for a change. Oh my god, there's a dwarf right now! Lolly ho! What did you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta. It's a green glass. Lolly ho for a lolly ho. That's the way it works. <laughs> Come, let's try it again. <laughs> lolly ho! The lolly ho. I was not that sad about it. <laughs> Exarch's like, uh, okay. Yeah, lolly ho, I guess. Lolly ho. Yeah, not bad, but there's room for improvement. Hey, Road, now that we're observed concourse, who are you and why are you doing here? Oh, the recommendation of the Dizzards of Navy. We have come to seek the aid of the Thal family. May I speak to Chief Zamat. Okay, well, I am Zamat, so. If it's the folk of A that sent you here, you have to quiet tell to tell. Come on, let's hear it. Yeah, at least they're cool about it. They're very chill. Oh, that was like a shadow passing overhead. <laughs> For Seth, it's like, oh, did we just, like, keep telling him until nightfall or something? This area has no night. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and there I thought those below had no fight left in them. Huh, and said that, it's not like we ought to do with the flowing volcano and all that sin here neither. If you're serious about restoring peace to these parts, though, we'll gladly lend you a hand. Yeah. Yeah, the dwarves of Comra are very chill. However... Or Comra, not Comra. The kind of war you seek is precious to us, too. They'll let you have it on your own to bungle things up and squander it, like no amount of ale will wash away my shargon. First thing, I make sure you're worthy. By means of a trial, hey, a trial most <laughs> tricksy, passed down throughout the line of Thal. Okay. Yeah, come, I'll show you the trial. Heh <laughs> It's a drinking contest. No. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you have the little Russian dance. Yeah, the well, lover it's, it's well, called. Yeah. Well, look at it real quick. You do, you do, lolly hoes. It's Wait, is that what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, it's called, right. it's, it's called the lolly hop. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Eventually, you also actually just get the, the Lolly Ho emote. Yeah. As you know, we're a mind folk. Our mind life danger is a constant companion. So we come of age, you must prove our readiness to take to the mines. This we do by our taking a trial would test the three traits all good Mars can't do without. Discernment, diligence, and dexterity. We call it... 3D Mine Runner! Oh my god, this is like so clear. <laughs> of course they're doing it! 
Now, a little on my helm. Markets features well. You would go in a slingshot, which you must use to shoot dwarves as well. Shoot dwarves as wear helms, what are different? I've already made this necessary arrangements. We are ready to take this trial and report to the observer nearby. Best of luck to you. <laughs> Did I already point out the thing about the dwarf houses? Yeah. I feel like I might have, where it's like you can't go in unless you're also a Lawlafell. Yeah. Yeah, just straight up, only Lawlafell care of this area. Yeah. I can't imagine there's like much in there though, but it's a neat there's... touch. Yeah, I mean, never mind that I could totally easily just duck in there, look how small I am. Shh. <laughs> but, uh,. Yeah, there's like, there's like a couple little rooms, and then there's like a couple of beds upstairs that are Lollafell sized. Yeah. Which I'm kind of surprised we don't have as furniture. Yeah, I, that'd be fun. Search for the dwarf wearing the wrong type of helmet. Okay. Mining time. <laughs> oh, it's got the old music. Wait, crap, I missed. <clears throat> Got crowd sometime, you bastard. I forgot about this. Damn it! Wait, you can probably shoot the crystal eggs arc. Wait, no, he's back up here. There we go. <laughs> Keep up in the actual trial. Oh, that was just the test. Oh, this is this is gonna go very wrong. That was just practice. Oh, this is not going to go well. I am not good at these types of games. Yeah, there's a reason I forgot this existed. <laughs> Wait, you? There we go. I missed the first time. Well done. Find some of discernment and dexterity. That's it. You did it. Oh, that's that's all. That was it. There might be like other little trial put you through, but I. The heck was that? They have to test you. For some reason. Are, are dwarves colorblind? Uh -oh. oh, right, yeah, I was trying to level samurai, so I actually use it, and I didn't get far enough. <laughs> oh. oh, right, I need to, like, actually dump some crap. Right, that's another thing, because I was like actively getting stuff so I could sell on the market for once to be smart for a change. So, what the heck am I actually maxed out on? Oh, this. Uh. How much does this actually sell for? Yeah, well, I return to inventory. I'll just do that. I'll, I'll sell all this crap, like, later. Uh, rings, or I need to get rid of one more of these. Uh, no, I don't want to set to my hotbar. See, I, I kind of got my inventory managed, except not really. Yeah, I'd go through, uh... I'd go through your inventory and look for stuff that's not equipped to any gear sets and just dump that. Yeah. <sighs> he has Zor on his mind! Yeah, Colusio is rich in sulfur? Well, it is. We've been mining the stuff since ancient times. Very soft and the self-same veins yield what's called earth seed, a rare ore steeped in magic. Time used to revive this time. Time was time was we used to refine earth seed for this and that. The technique's been lost. 
Stuff's still out there to be had, though. Provide you over a look. No place is sure in the Durgar's tea well. Problem is, the site's occupied by our age-old rivals, the Gogs. Grease sods claim the place is theirs and refuse to let any of our bugger near. Oh, their nerve was more odious than the them grogs. I could go on, on about the hor about the hornless horse sons. I thought it was like the horny horse sons. <laughs> <laughs> then we'd be here forever, and then we won't guess nowhere. It's weird because he he mock he mocks them for not having horns, but there are helmets you can buy from the falls that don't have horns. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. What it boils down to is this. If you want the earth seed, you gotta do it the gogs. Wrecking her up for the challenge. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just do it. That's the spirit. Now help you on your way, I have one of our go I have one of ours go with yous. Yeah, I'll go with them. <laughs> oh no! You Korut! Oh my god, I can't believe it! Who? Kill poor here and knew the ears had flocked to Mount Gulg, but I didn't know why. Think the light warns high up there. Bam Kalushia, no, the world hangs in the balance. Found be of some help, but I want to do my part. Like, I know I've sort of, like, shifted to Southern right now, but that's, like, that's honestly just gonna help me with this dialect. <laughs> <laughs> the zeal's commendable, lad, but it ain't so simple. So this here's Korut, and yeah, as he is, he's one of the village's fast miners. Lad's gone uncanny since I wear a dig, and his aim with a pickaxe is as true as any dwarves. But put him in the thick of battle, and he couldn't have the side of a mine car if he was sin in it. Yeah, that's totally the inflection. <laughs> if all I needed to do his dig, he'd be your dwarf. But he's liable to come as sin here's breakfast for and come and manage his swing. Yeah, that's true. I'm hopeless in a fight. Still want to try. Please, let me go with you. What they're going for is, like, gruff. Like, <laughs> uh, like, not southern, but, you know. Like yeah, like, kind of, like, Scottish, or, like, you know, kind of Cockney, almost. Yeah, like, stereotypical fantasy dwarf. It doesn't help that we never hear yeah. any of them talk, I don't think. It's, like, a stereotypical fantasy dwarf, but with a bit more of, like, an inflection, right? Sure. Because they have their little, like, sags and stuff they're, like, throwing in there, too. As opposed to, like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll dig up this sword good, you know, or whatever. I don't know what the crap that was. <laughs> well, as long as you're aware of the dangers. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much. Try best not to be a burden. Yeah, if you want to take Korra before, for me to stop you. Far be it for me to stop you. Keep him safe, though, will ya? Yeah, well, we'll just assuredly encounter seniors along the way, so, uh... Though if you are a company, there'll be more spectacle than a con- There'll be more spectacle than a concern. You know what? Yeah, honestly, yeah. Actually, what I'm thinking, I should be using Monk for this. As close as Tomra is to Mount Gold, I'm surprised that this place isn't just crawling with Sin Eaters. Yeah. A very dangerous place to live. Hmm. <laughs> the Dragger's Twelve lies in the cave to the east. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Let's do oh. this. You just blinked out of existence. Yeah, I just hit the thing. <laughs> Alright, instant start. Oh, I didn't realize it was an instance, okay. Yeah. Well, be on your guard for Sin Eaters. <laughs> yeah, I should just write my fire stance, cause, yup, yeah, there we go. Well, on the left is mine? Okay, yeah, and do that. All 
Alright, I got this. I'll just take the wand the right too then. Oh, it wore off it too quickly. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Easy. Wow, you're really strong. Man, just you know that Kizun's a great hero. Whenever she hails, she's the greatest. Yeah, you didn't say that again. Oh, you must have some stories to tell, Kizun. <laughs> yeah, tales to impress you in the turn. By all means, however, Gil will have the tales. Warrior of Light too strong. Yeah. I do like that they're just straight up like, oh no, you are the greatest hero. <laughs> <laughs> like, straight up, you're the man. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because the story very much revolves entirely around the main character. Yeah. Which is something apparently other MMOs don't really do, which really surprised me. Yeah. Because it's like, it's a Final Fantasy narrative first and like an MMO narrative second, right? Uh, yeah. So that's what I've heard, it's like, oh yeah, in World of Warcraft, the world just happens without you, it doesn't really, like, you're, you're nobody, honestly, and it's like, oh wow. Yeah, that cast sucks. Yeah. Make me spill, make me spill special, dang it! <laughs> And it makes sense for a Final Fantasy narrative. It's like, oh yeah, Warrior of Light, of course. Of course you're important. Yeah. You're like the hero, straight up. Yeah. Oh, whoa, that was a bit of stutter. Hopefully I didn't show up on the capture. Yeah, Kizun's a team unto herself. I'd just follow her lead. Oh, whoa. Whoa, what the crap? Hmm. Okay, yeah, we're getting some weird stars right now. That's very odd. Huh. Uh, did I say it wrong? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's... this is kind of a problem. Oh wow, I see it popping up occasionally. Yeah, because I've got, like, it hooked in everything. It shouldn't be doing this. Uh... Doesn't seem like it's with the game itself. I think it's your internet. Yeah, this... this ain't normal. This is very concerning, honestly. I'm just gonna hope it passes. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. It doesn't seem to be doing it right now, so it's probably a good sign. Alright, there we go. Get this off on you. And I messed up the combo, but whatever. Alright, there we go. Right, actually doing my AoE stuff, actually. <laughs> Duty failed! The, uh, the dwarf might have died. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to protect him. I thought the x -Arc just had it. No, you gotta keep him safe. Oh. You could have just lowered the difficulty to make it really easy to pass. Yeah, but screw that. I'm not a coward. Okay. <laughs> What's a Nat Man do again? Huh? Yeah, it's just looking at, like, love the effing, like, yo. Oh, one of your skills. Yeah. Actually, don't remember how this thing works. Yeah, just what I would do is I would, uh, I would pay attention to the, to the dwarf, and if there's a Sin Eater attacking him, focus on that one. 
Yeah, because the Exarch's like, oh, I've got this one. So let's assume those, like, okay, the Exarch's like, he's gonna get the other ones. Because, like, I saw the lines going to someone, and I was like, oh, this must be the Exarch. Like, he must be, like, drawing aggro, right? <laughs> yeah, no. Oh boy, do I have so many stories to tell, Dwarf. Oh boy, I can't I have such sights to show you. <laughs> this is, unfortunately, at the end of the day, an escort mission. Yeah, I, that's pretty true. <laughs> Right, after I grab this thing. Yeah, well, I can take the hit. That's a lot of damage, but I did take the hit. Man, I remember... I remember back when they first changed, uh, Summoner. Wait, it's just attack him and you're not doing anything, Exarch? What the crap? Well, that's because it's your job to deal with it. Oh, come on, man. This ain't fair. But yeah, when they first changed Summoner, uh, there, was a, there was a Summoner story quest I couldn't actually beat. Because uh, the changes made, made me, like, too weak. Uh, what they change? You know the like the job quests you you do. Yeah. The, uh, they they changed summoner and as a result it was weaker. Yeah, because, but what did they change specifically? Uh, uh, they changed. So you weren't playing at the time, I don't think. But it used to be that uh, your your pet was targetable by by uh, monsters. Oh. Yeah, and so they and so uh, the summoner didn't have to worry about being targeted. Like some summoners squishy, but it didn't matter because they could they could uh, send out their pet to be targeted. Yeah, uh, and then they made that not a thing, and so I couldn't beat this fight because the the monster I had to beat would just clobber me to death, and like I couldn't figure out how to actually deal with it. And I bring and I bring that up because uh, uh, it's just uh, I don't think they had the uh, the option to like weaken instances to make it easier to pass. So I just had to get I just had the power level and get gear to yeah. like to use my gear to out level it. <laughs> and even even then, I think I barely passed it. Yeah, because Alvar specifically what it was, but I do vaguely remember there is like a summoner quest that was like super hard. Hmm. But yeah, it pre change I would have summoned uh I would have summoned uh Topaz with uh Titan Eggy, whichever one you have it glamoured as. Yeah. Man, and think that there's like a few rough summoner quests you have to just do. Probably, um, but that's that's the summon the tanks for you. But because they made it so monsters don't target pets anymore, there's like no reason to ever use that pet now. Yeah, it's like maybe if you're fine random enemies you'd use it, but like other than um, that, you know, you would use it while fighting random enemies because it could take the heat for you, but it, it can't yeah. do that. It, I well, that just... gives you like a defense buff, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's not it's not as good. Yeah. I would just prefer if, if the <laughs> I would just prefer my tank summon to tank for me again. Yeah. Like even if it doesn't draw that much aggro, it'd still be better than nothing. Mm-hmm. Alright, so no, just take out one at a time because our tank is not tanky. 
Oh jeez, never mind. I just have to kill them all at once. Yep. Getting swarms by them. A uh, damage buff. Oh jeez, I should keep these away from them. Oh yeah. Oh, try to keep them in that blue circle though. Holy yeah. crap. Right. Ugh. Wow, there's so many of them. As we're just about to get there. We are stupidly close to the mountain. All right, one last push then. Man, we have to like push this stuff out too. No, wait, never mind. We didn't teleport. What am I thinking? Oh, jeez, there's so many of them. It's not worth like not just aoeing. Yeah. If you do happen to. If you do happen to fail this, just drop it to very clear quickly. <laughs> Just for the in just for the interest of time. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we got this, or rather, yeah. I've got this. Yeah, I just, I'm just saying. Yeah, everyone's aggroed on me. That's fine. I take it. Yeah, there we go. Oh jeez, there's more of them! Fine, I'll take all the aggro then! Oh, uh, you know what? I do... I do have something, like, a little bit that I could have talked about, and it's, uh, I picked up Pokemon Snap. Oh, huh. It's is it... Good. Is it good? It's pretty good. I like it. I, I only ever played Pokemon Snap at other people's houses when I was a kid, but, uh, so I don't really have that much nostalgia for it. Oh, jeez, all these guys are just dying. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, new, new Pokemon Snap is pretty good. Crystal Exarch, oh my god. Dude, I had to pick up so much aggro, oh my god. Well, at least it did heal himself. Uppercut. I don't know who used Uffing Fire for, but thanks, man. I mean, it's probably the Exarch. Oh, get in front of that tether. Oh, no. Wait, no, I can't. Alright, now I can Targ him. Jeez, thanks. It, when, whenever you see that red target that's like uh, red t tether that's like pulsing. Uh, you need to stand in front of it so you can take the hit. Yeah, good to know. Yeah, you, you need to stand it like uh, stand in front of it to take the hit instead of whoever is gonna get hit by it. I don't know if he'll do it again, but it's good to know for the future. Oh jeez, this thing is just unwavering. <laughs> He's a big boy. Oh, I used the wrong move, but it's fine. I hope you guys aren't just standing next to him like a massive idiot. No, I did the big move. Oh, jeez. Your tail would not end here. All right, that was a cool little moment. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna get all the healing going because I don't trust this. <laughs> Kill swinging. Wait, wrong form. I mean, I'm getting way too mixed up right now. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, whatever, it's fine. You got this. Yeah, as long as, like, we're not dying, we're good. Alright, free hit to the side. Get the crit off. No, just stay there for like a second longer. <laughs> Man, like, these, like, positional requirements aren't as bad as I was expecting. Like, you have so much mitigation on that just for, like, the boot shine crit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let's turn inside before any more seniors come. <laughs> Oh my god. Hopefully that's the worst of it and you're almost we're almost ready to do the thing. We just go into the cave and it's another instance. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have just gone Dragoon for that. That would probably made it a lot easier. <laughs> Why would Dragoon have made it easier? Because it's Lol 79 and has better gear. <laughs> Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, this is like 78, and it's kind of sharing gear with like a way lower leveled class, which is a bit concerning. Just, just a bit. Just a bit. Or a step of the wind, let's go. <laughs> We have time for you, Gog Knockers. We're gonna. Oh, jeez, he has time for me, though. Well, hope you can keep up with Speed Plus. <sighs> if the terrain is a <laughs> stintry indication, then we're at the towel. Ah, there. The gogs with their ugly, unkempt beards. They realize that we're here, they'll come after us. Best to take them down first. Oh, you probably have to shoot them with darts. Well, the animosity between your two clans notwithstanding, I'd not resort to violence unless necessary. I'll use an enchantment to render you invisible. It will not fool Sin Eaters, but will suffice to hide you from the eyes of men. While you are thus concealed, do you think you could find us the Earth Seed? Yeah, I'll dig up the choicest stuff there is. Alright, we much obliged. Well, without further ado then. Where's that area on the map? Heh, <laughs> and see straight through me. Right, and dig and we will go. Well, let's not be idle either. Though current cannot be seen, you may still be heard. Oh, I'd aid him by bringing some few gogs from the field to that end. Dream powder. If you recall, we use it for a rescue mission at Laxium Loft. Yeah, I recall. Yeah, we used it. Then Crit had some too! We got Rufy these gogs. <laughs> Seems our alchemist got a little carried away with the last batch. <laughs> but if you had been used to our endeavors, that have no cause to complain. Nah, I shall make you invisible as well. That you might steal close to the dwarves and give them a dose of dream powder. It should have failed put them to sleep outright. Should wear them drowsy enough to seek their beds. 
And if they can't find those beds, then what'll happen? Stop. Yeah. We get them. Right, kid, actually. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so I assume there's like. Alright, there's a two minute time limit. I think we'll be good. Hey, Gog McCog. Go to sleep. And yeah, no. now. Okay, that's one. Oh, you're just around here. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just here. Hey, Gog Mabob. Can you just, you know... Yeah, yeah, alright. Only got two minutes left, better make this count. <laughs> hey, Gog Mabog. I can do this without getting myself killed. Wait, what are you trying to do? Oh, alright. The question is how how good does high actually work against high level enemies? I'd assume pretty well. <laughs> Let me know if you die. Fine. Uh oh! Oh, oh no! <laughs> I can't help because I'm invisible. It's fine. Hide doesn't work against high level enemies. But that's the only thing it's good for. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I don't know why I even have it on my hawk. Because it's good at low level quests, I guess? Uh. I'll keep it on my hotbar until I run out of room, then it's going. Yeah. But the moment there's something else there that just outdates it entirely, it's like, I'll just remove hide from the hotbar because it doesn't do anything. Yeah. yeah. Like, if, if I want to hide from monsters and to just not deal with them, I'll go, like, minor. Because Miner has, uh, what's it called? Is it just called Stealth? Yeah. It's called like... Stealth or Sneak. It's called Sneak, and it works just entirely. Because, like, on paper, what you're basically meant to do is you're meant to, like, you know, see a group of enemies on the distance, use hide, like, sneak up on them, and then, like, you know, use, like, trick attack before the battle starts, or, like, while he's, like, fighting other people. Because, yeah, like, or... as long as they're not focused on you, then you can use trick attack. Like, as long as they don't know you're there. Yeah, or I could just use sweet on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, like, before you get sweet on, that's kind of, like, your only way to get trick attack off. Oh, you're one of them thals. Oh, okay. Uh, hide is actually more effective than the minor uh, thing. Because the minor thing only hides you uh, from enemy four level... Uh, if they're four levels higher... Four levels or more, uh, they can see you. Yeah. Also, sup, Baron. <laughs> Brain bad. Yeah. Uh, or should I say, lolly ho. Lolly ho. <laughs> Our beards are soft and loose creation. Luscious, and this smell like freshly tapped ale. Gog beards are dry and crusty and smell like a knocker's arse. <laughs> and Pian Welp, but our hobgoblin's nose then hairs for a feeble floppy thing you thals of him from your face. Oh, it's Glag. <laughs> Yo, no. Do we I'm have to kill Glag? No. See, I'm surprised to see Glag because he's he's one of the dwarves that pops up in the near raid 
but I didn't bother remembering his name, so I didn't actually realize that he shows up after this. <laughs> well, like, Glag, is uh, the, uh, Glag is the <laughs> chief of the Gog village. This is starting to get interesting. I won't put him to sleep. Dwarf fight. Dwarf fight. <laughs> so it's really a full opportunity later to witness their bickering. For now, we should be on our way. Pokeball, go! <laughs> well, there he is. <laughs> yeah, forgive me, but I need you to be calm as well. Yeah, it's just when it comes to gogs, I can't help but see red. Alright, well, don't worry about it. We have nothing but gratitude for you. Alright, well, let's go. <gasps> now that we can build the greatest golem ever. <laughs> Yeah, it's screwed. I'm gonna switch to ninja. Ah, oh, where is my ninja? Did it da Here it is. Actually, do I have like any new stuff? Nope. Okay. Right, of course I wouldn't. Well, much as I enjoy our time together, I think we best split up. Yeah, I shall see the Earth seed safely into the hands of China's. So yeah, let's do this. The gogs are pretty good at making robots. Gotta say that. Yeah, presumably. <laughs> well, so there's like a there's like a world super boss thing. Yeah. That, that pops up on like a like a random schedule, and you need. You need a crap ton of people to fight it, or you just die. <laughs> like, it's it's an open-world raid boss. Yeah. Baird says interesting music. And, like, I think I missed when he posted that, so I don't know which part he's talking about. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> well, it'll probably make sense in the VOD. Yeah. All right. A few others came forward while you're going, saying this is when you do want to do this bit as well. Uh, you're a builder of tiles, we reckon you'd be needing some mine tools, so we wouldn't modify our spear pickaxes for the bigger folk. Yeah, should be plenty to go around. Crowd guard at the top run already. Go and see how everyone's a pickaxe swing, eh? Yeah, let's do it. Wait, I just teleport over there, can I? Uh... No, I can't. Oh, it's the ladder? No. I could fly you there. Yeah, right. Where you at? Uh, fine. If I get there for you and find me, then, like, it's no big deal, right? Okay. There you are. Oh, hey, you found me. <laughs> yep. I'm under attack. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and slow them down, my minions. I'll get there first. No, you won't. <laughs> Damn it, I forgot you're actually fast. I'm fast on the ground, and also I can fly. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> uh, just about there. Come on, Beetle, run faster. I don't even know that you're headed to the ladder. That's just where I went. Yeah, yeah, I'm just right here. Oh yeah, there you are. Alright, let's do this. We have plenty of hands, so we don't have enough tools to put in them. Been desperately trying to wrap more- Oh, I've got some! Yeah! Let's go and hand them to everyone so we can get to- I actually have to put in their hands. Oh, I think Baron is talking about the like the hype music while you're just running around doing stuff. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I all work to our hearts' content. Let's do this. Yeah, 
Uh, we're building. We're building a giant golem. Yes. As the stream tile should say, we're building a golem to pull a floating mountain down. We are building the biggest golem that's ever existed. Maybe even an anything, honestly. I don't know. It's not suitable for an in-game dungeon. Yeah, this is like... the penultimate dungeon? Yeah, man, we're yeah. really up there, aren't we? Yeah, I, I believe there's only one more dungeon after this. <laughs> yeah. One, uh, one more dungeon and one more trial. Go at least get a spare set of tools. Oh, here's some tools. Hey, okay, let's start breaking rocks. Super excited to finish with vanilla Shadowbringers. <laughs> Growing at exactly my stock and trade, but this time, this time I feel as though my wife will be with me, guiding my hand. Yeah, Magnus. Yeah, let's build a world where everyone can live without fear, where everyone has a place they can go home to, and they can go to that place on the trolley. <laughs> Their best place. <laughs> Their best trolley. <laughs> <laughs> Man, did, did you watch the new Shaman King episode? <laughs> Not yet. I usually wait until the day of so I remember more information. Uh, I can't believe we finally found best place. <laughs> Oh, sick. <laughs> <sighs> just imagine the side of the trolley. It could push. Just imagine it. Yeah, I was going to say, this is the trolley guy, not Magnus. You still rave about that? How many times I have to tell you it's not the Talos is for? Where else would the tracks even go? Or it's bound to be somewhere. You just need a little imagination. See, as the stoneworks is involved, maybe we'd get a trolley add to the design. Well, we're gonna work. If I hear more about trolleys from you, all of you pushing one yourself. <laughs> Let's imagine it's like we have some just a giant like trolley, just like a giant metal like bucket on wheels, basically. And he's just like takes one push and shoves it halfway across the continent. <laughs> Like, everyone's still normal size, the trolley is just gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. proportioned exactly the same and all. Kobolds are gonna help, too. Oh heck yeah, the Amaros are gonna help. No, the Kobolds, not the Amaros. <laughs> we'll please to get juice. Very hard work. Yeah. Of course, one can't work on empty stomach. Is why I brought some tasty worms to share. Oh god, they remember that. <laughs> Much as we'd all enjoy a treat, perhaps the worms are best saved for afterwards. He's like, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, you don't remember me, but I'm the one that cares for the the journey's head. At night, our turn, Tom rang. We know us to change our patience. Transformation has halted in every one of them. Oh, really? Dang. That yeah, explains why one guy's still around. Bringing back the night had that much of an effect. Man, can't express what it did to the move of the place, and we were still celebrating days later when we should come along but when who should come along but Alice so that she sought the aid of those who believed in the warrior of darkness. We all answered her call there and then, of course. Some had you some few careers had to remain behind, but as many of us came Caregivers. Yeah, Bubba, I'm bad ring today. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I, well, why are you even saying today? This is nothing new, really. <laughs> to have great respect for a warrior of darkness. When we meet, I'll be sure to treat them to a nice plump worm. I, yeah, worms. I want someone to take this out of context. <laughs> Yeah, worms! Yeah, worms. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks, because with that, everyone's now ready to work. They'll go and join the soldiers standing guard or the volunteers. It would be a shame if they fell prey to after all the trouble we've gone through. 
let's, let's see if this place is a resounding success for the sake of all in Norvert. <laughs> yeah, let's do this, Alpha Node. I only care, coming to Amity. They're still seeing those who imbue the towels with magic. Yeah, let's join them at once. I don't think I can teleport here, can I? Nope, no, okay. It's that, it's that little village where uh, that dude lives that got thrown out of Yulmore. Yeah. So it shouldn't be too hard to get there. It's not too yeah. much of a hike. Yeah, you just gotta walk. No big deal. Yeah. Just a little more and we'll have our giant golem made of, like, ridiculous proportions. <laughs> I do hope there's not a whole. Excuse me. I do hope there's not a whole lot left of the in between quests. Man, I we should be really close. I'm just imagining it's gonna look like effing Pharaoh Bender's statue from Futurama. <laughs> <laughs> Lad's just shooting fire, but still grabs the mountain. <laughs> Yeah, give you jaws. I'm pleased to say we've got ample help, so yeah. Master Chai's doing the thing. You hurdle laws though you have my house in order, but quite frankly, this is the most disorganized mess of a project I've ever overseen. And you spent nearly as much time as I'd like on my calculations. Okay, yeah, we know. But for our perspective lay me though it may be. Haste notwithstanding, thou has gone to great lengths of buying by providing methodology to ensure the integrity of thy design. Yeah, Trent, well, that's... You're, that's, you're doing great, Chinas. Yeah, it's just the bare boom that's expected at the stoneworks. There are glory days are behind us. I've not forgotten our time our traditions. But I should mention that the Uxart delured the Oras for Earthseed before he called it. The quantity, I believe we in sad fashion is suitable heart for the thing. Then everything will be in readiness, or I'd like to say. Well, in Talos of, well, any reasonable size, a single heart would serve to circulate Aether throughout the chassis. But given the unprecedented proportions of that which we seek to build, I doubt that'll be the case. By installing smaller peripheral hearts at intervals, I believe that we can maintain a stable aether flow, thereby solving the problem. However, we don't have enough ore for this purpose. Not for, but to procure more, I suppose. I think you'll like this one, Baron. Alright, we have now's a good time to bring him out. <laughs> yeah. This is something we could do. Wait, are these not Heartstones? Yeah, the most prized possession of the Knight's Blust. And these belong to our, kind, to our kindred who have left us. I forgot about this. Yeah, immersed in water imbued with favorite prayer. These stones harbor no small amount of magic. Right, I may imbue them to yet more pur with yet more power to their installation on the Talos. Because we just need to do one thing. Yep. Being from a different region, these cannot be used for a main heart. The peripheral ones, or on the other hand, well, yeah, sure. Well, when Master Atoa spoke to us about the role we are to play, the heart stones immediately came to mind. Of course, for bringing them with me, I had started to consult my fells first. Because, yeah. These they're hearts belong to, like, dead magic. people. Yeah, they're basically magic imbued gravestones. <laughs> yeah. Well, unless we're also a piece. If our heartstones may serve to restore a knight to all the world, then yeah, we'll use them. This golem is powered by the wishes of the dead. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> <clears throat> if if the if the uh, this giant golem wasn't cool enough already, <laughs> it's fueled by ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I 
or I'd simply raise your hand, focus as you would, when doing an Aetherite. You the Jade Car Stone here, if you'd be so kind. <laughs> yeah, give your magic to this thing. Your ninja magic. <laughs> Alright, if the heart still appears full here, it's because it belonged to Todia. Bears the collective hope of the knights blessed. The hope that none shall ever again be sacrificed to Sin Eaters. Man, pretty much everyone across the globe. <laughs> yeah, everybody you made friends with across this thing. Yeah, everyone left alive on this dying, like, apocalypse-like crazed planet. Alright, I promise to be trying to climb, so take the rest you can in the meantime. Gonna power up those stones. Let's do it. Yeah, Mordoranger. You said you have measures ran in the event that our friend fails to contain the light, do you? Oh, you actually were thinking about that. Yeah, well, all which are acquire lath in this land. Yeah, so what's the plan? Because if this doesn't work, I'm going to become a crazy boss monster and kill everyone. Because, yeah, that's what we're dealing with here. <laughs> do I do as regret? I can't rule the plan thee. Or for it to succeed, tis a vow that thou remainst ignorant of its nature until the time is right. I don't like that sentiment. <laughs> I don't trust this. No, 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 no. You can't know how it works. You, why can I not know how it works? Is it because I would object on, like, a super clear moral level? <laughs> think I may just keep my counsel. I don't have the safety at heart. So rest easy, my friend, and take such ease thou miss. The bird to be ready for the trials to come. Man, if Oranger is just like, yeah, I'll just take all the light and then you can kill me and it'll disperse. I will become the final boss. <coughs> <coughs> I've told the Rockford chassis is more or less Ray. All crate and shaped and laid out. Let's leave the Imburus to do their work. I'll continue can checking. Can you turn the camera? Look into the distance. He says it should be ready, but is it? I can't see. Uh, maybe after the... Hey, this will probably launch straight into a cutscene. Where will it be? Uh, near the mountain. Well, I'm we'll not see. seeing if it is. Well, you, you can't turn your camera far enough because it's locked. Just continue the... Yeah. Alright, so uh, where will it be? Uh, it's not there. It'll probably appear in the cutscene. Probably about to happen then. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the stream. If it was there, you'd see it. Oh, well, no point worrying about such things now. I'll get back to my calculations. You, meanwhile, should go and rest as your friend suggested. My wife and the Exarch should be in the tavern. Why don't you join them? Why don't you oh. go inside and come back out to see if the golem just finished? Yeah, like, with what we're going to do, we probably need a shop courage right now. <laughs> the XR he wants that long ago. Oh, I should have set up so I could, like, look outside while this is going on. <laughs> Kill yeah, my company for a short while. I could have stood in the doorway to make sure it wouldn't close. <laughs> the thing came to the rebar pale. He's clearly been straight himself, the poor thing. Anyway, he execu he excuse he executed himself. Oh no! Oh no! He excused himself, saying that he needed a breath of fresh air. Weak as he looked, I did offer a go with him. But he assumed he assured me he would be fine. I do hope he's all right. Oh, I have to go this far away. 
Yeah, I'm still not seeing it. I feel like I feel like it'd be pretty obvious it, once it's done. I, I, it's just something that I, I didn't think of that it might just pop up in the world, but that probably doesn't happen. A, a cutscene will probably trigger and then it'll be done. So where's the Crystal X Arch now? Uh, probably at the at, at this cliff. Wait, I see his base. All right, come on out, man. We got Golem to finish. Here we go. Don't go where he is. Oh. Execute himself. Well, why would we cross in the names of Golem Construction? <laughs> Wait, that just says in order to be seen. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I didn't actually. So why did I say yeah? Damn it. Oh, there's just a, uh, go out to that cliff, to that, like, the end of that cliff that she was looking at a moment ago. This He's one? Probably, I feel, I feel like if my, if my memory standing near a cliff somewhere. Alright, so it's probably this one then. Yeah. And I'll, I'll find him one way or another, even if it takes until the completion of this golem. <laughs> In my memory, he's oh, hanging here out he is. over here somewhere, yeah. Yeah, that honestly didn't take long at all. And the golem's still nor near being completed. Uh, and I can confirm that if it was if it was uh, done, you'd be able to see it from here. Yeah. Yeah, the golem designer executed himself so he could put his soul into the golem. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Yeah, crazy ideas require crazy I measures. In a dream. I needed some fresh air and thought to rest for a moment. It would seem I am more fatigued than I realized. Too much time away from the tower, I fear. It drains me, leaves my body frail and weak. Though, in truth, it is debatable whether I can still call this my body. I... I don't like the implication of that. Like, I guess it means he's been, like, you know, creating new parts or whatever, but it's like... The, the first place my mind goes is like, oh, he's been stealing corpses and putting his soul in them. <laughs> it's, uh... When first I turned my mind towards the south, uh, mm. I came to the conclusion that it would take. This isn't a spoiler, I don't think. Many more. Uh, the tower is like a battery. Yeah. Like, and and like his body is connected to it. That's why he's all crystal like that. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He's yeah. He's talking about it right now. The farther I travel, and the longer. Yeah, so he can't, he's like, oh, I don't even, like, this, maybe this is even, maybe I'm the tower now. My wish will finally be Yeah, makes sense. How goes the construction effort? How ho and high of him. <laughs> then this may be the last moment we have to ourselves for a while. Come, sit with me. You want us to, like, teleport you back to the tower for a bit? I mean, you're not much use in a weakened Tell state, me. I believe. When all of this is over, what will you do? Well... Yeah, I'm gonna go to the Empire and kick their ass. Yeah! <laughs> ah, yes. Even should that's the actual real story. answer, because that's what we do in Inblock. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pray much. I don't think I'd call them mightier than the Light Wardens at this point, but like, yeah. I mean, the Empire hasn't actually succeeded at their whole world conquering thing, whereas the Sin Eaters are kind of winning. Yeah. The Empire is hilariously incompetent. Like, 
I don't know if you remember the Castrum dungeon uh, before the Praetorium, but like they just have more set up. Sorry, what was that? You cut out, but the Castrum dungeon before Praetorium, like yeah. the last dungeon in Realm Reborn. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I don't know if you remember this, but they just have mortars in their base uh, <laughs> that, that you can use to shoot down their own airships. Oh dang. You will leave countless lives better than you found. Because I like, I've played that quest or like that dungeon forever. Because there's so many cutscenes, it kind of sucks. Yeah. Then, Castrum, uh, Castrum has fewer cutscenes, but I, I, I think it's worse than Praetorium. Because Praetorium, you can just, you can just AFK for a bit and not miss to actually doing the dungeon. But Castrum has cutscenes that. Uh, cutscene and then a lot of stuff in between and then short cutscene and then a lot of stuff in between and it's like you can't take a break really yeah so where are you get doing this is over you could have asked him more about him should I have uh I don't I don't remember what I said and there's a very good chance he but Things, I said, though in truth I spoke of a mm -hmm. person, one who is unaware of the full extent of my plan. Just pointing out it's something you could have asked him. Know, yeah. I have good reason to keep my counsel. I mean, I feel confident I that, like, if I'm missing something important, then you'll, like, let me know. <laughs> yeah, you're not, as far as I know, you, there's nothing missed from not asking that because usually you don't get uh, in these multiple choice things you don't usually answer should she indulge me with her tales i would regale her with my own about my efforts in your friend perhaps are you talking about me ultimately that tale is more yours than it is mine oh he's totally talking about me then i would ask her about her next adventure and if she should wish me to be a part of it, oh, how happy it would make me. You hang on me, man. Maybe a little bit. Across the seas, take to the skies upon the eternal wind. My heart swells. Yeah, this this feels like it a lot. But all of this is contingent upon our victory in the coming battle. Okay. I will say this, if the, if the stream goes a little long, the people of ju just in case it might incentivize you to, to do the boss, uh, we will, you will learn who the Exarch is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let us return to Amity. I feel like, unless it's like La Habre or something, like, I don't think it's going to be like... I don't know. Maybe it could be so- Cause I'm like, who- who could it even be? Right? Mm-hmm. Man. That'd be wild if we, like, yo, know, we learn the Exarch is just La Brea, like the villain of the first, like, expansion. That would be goofy. <laughs> He's Pikachu, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I've never seen him do an electric attack. <laughs> he just, like takes off his cloak and he's like secretly a geo dude no nah, he's like that i don't know if you've seen people who do like the pokemon fusion thing but i think it's like a it's like they fuse machoke with pikachu so it's like a yellow machoke with pikachu's head <laughs> like, so it's just a really buff pikachu oh man I uh, we all know the truth though. The X art is really three trench coats and a kid. Yeah. 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 Uh, eventually appear fresh air and your fine company, of course. Now let's turn our thoughts back to the task at hand. I'm gonna 
pull up the stream on my phone and watch while I use the restroom. I'll be right back. Alright. Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace in the source, oh, this is how they get around it. Because we're going to cut back and it's going to be like, oh, the golem's just there. <laughs> Your radiance, I've taken the liberty of quashing, quashing, quashing the vile rumors that your hair is possessed by a devil. With the nation of the group of war, we have Relon Patriarch zeal to prevent them from resurfacing. Yeah, alright. And Wolf and it's Selk. Well, he's tam himself to the first to usher the world to its end. Or so I believe, anyways. He had not disclosed the details of his mission. Hangar preferred to work alone. Yet, yeah, even to those who have known him since the beginning, his actions can prove unpredictable. Yeah, that's an R statement. Well, no stranger to his ways. He joys in playing me for a fool. Full many times so I've been convinced I was active in my own volition, only to discover all was as he willed it. My dear grandfather. Yeah, those subjects are esteemed colleague. His last report, though brief, did contain one item of interest. You have doubtless wondered why the signs of the sun and the dawn have not taken to the field of late. It's because they are no longer in the source. Yeah, because we got transported to the R world. Heroes of the signs have journeyed to the first, have as her comrades, albeit incompletely, their bodies yet remain in the source. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I don't know where this crap's going. If we defeat the Alliance prod to the Sands return, we may eliminate their order at a stroke. Yeah! With the Sands gone, none shall remain to thwart our plan. We'll be but a of striking down the hero upon her homecoming. Which, lest you forget, is essential to the realization of our objective. Of both our objectives. Yeah, though Heidelin's through Heidelin's meddling, her champion threatens to wrest the reins of fate from our grasp. The world's at risk of being dragged down the false path. One which will nor see man reclaim his true form. <coughs> Tis unthinkable they should supplant us, incomplete as he is. Such a devolution is abhorrent and must be stopped before it's too late. So they're totally playing on just murdering us in our sleep, basically. While we're like, you know, while our souls are in the R world and stuff. The hour has come, your radiance. And so have I. <laughs> this is your heart's desire, is it not? <laughs> Disease of victory that is yours and yours alone for the future of Karlamald. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't not do it. Dear, you do not wear the mummer's molly well. I was never one to take interest in your tedious conflicts. Oh, that's not Emmett Shelg. We're about to have one true friend, however. They interest me greatly. I would hope the beasts of this first are proving her proper sport. I would know every detail, Lord Zos. Would you rather I called you... Elidibus? Elidibus? Elidibus. Yeah. Yeah. I know you've just made yourself look like me. Heh, <sighs> unexpected. Most unexpected. 
that immortality shall be within the reach of one with a borrowed echo. Yeah, you have outdone yourself, Zeus Valgalvis. Yeah, it's pronounced Elidibus. Okay, yeah, Elidibus. <laughs> I have no hey, particular attachment to your name. Sorry, what were you saying? I was just gonna say, I forgot this scene happens here. <laughs> oh boy. But I am rather fond of that body. With that, I can't enjoy my hunt to the fullest. Your secrets are my flesh. I care not what you give me first. The choice is yours. I don't much care for Xenos, but I appreciate that he shows body than his and demands his body back. Yeah. <laughs> Just straight up. Lidivus was an optional super boss in FF Tactics? Huh. Ah, oh, that's really cool, actually. Because, like, name, this... Does the name Emmett Selk ring a bell? Yeah. I know this game is connected to, like, the Tactics universe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, considering that knowledge, uh, do you actually him in that game? <clears throat> Just my porch is looking at his eye. Chai knows there's something important to tell you. Oh, here we go. The name of that quest and, like, the picture, the here we go. <laughs> yeah. So while the two of you are away, I received the word that everything's in place. Meaning we proceed with awakening the Talos. Once we imbue the magic, it will stir itself immediately to have its designated function. Namely, taking Mount Golg in its grasp. Cause it, there's a little bit of, a uh, little bit of something about this game. Is that it canonically takes place in the Evil East uh, series? Yeah. Maybe like, certify that Valther will not look I on an idleness as we beam a path to his front door. Once our paths are set in motion, there will be no turning back. This so game is a direct sequel. Not sequel, but like, this game directly links to Final Fantasy Tactics. Okay, go ahead, sorry. All right. So yeah, if we're just going for it, I'm just gonna switch to Gunbreaker, cause like, yeah, we're gonna need it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, there's an entire raid series where you fight bosses, sticks that like share their names and everything, and then uh, the end of the raid has like the ghost of Ramza and Delita and uh, what's her face, Ramza's sister, I think. Yeah. Like, they legit show up to talk to you, and it's like, they are the they are the characters from Tactics. Dang. Girl, word, I'll relay the ore to awaken the Talos. Yeah, let's do this. Engage. Yeah. Of course, engage is the, is the right thing to say. Yeah. There might as well not be any other option. <laughs> Talos engine stirring. <laughs> <laughs> Magitek output reaching 70%. <laughs> Mount Gold goes in the first game and a few later entries. True, uh, but that's not that's not really saying this is linked to that game in particular. There are a lot of locations and names uh, named after uh, other Final Fantasy games. Yeah, I only say that Tactics is directly linked because you talk to the ghosts of the characters <laughs> from Tactics. <laughs> Oh man. All is set on his side, and we may proceed when ready. Let's do this. Well, we have sufficient stone for our needs. Likewise, preparations for the imbuing have been made according to thine exacting instructions. Well, I can't believe we just kinda did this off screen sort of. Well, say the word. While you were talking and watching the cutscene with the Imperial Palace, uh, people were doing work. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Another connection to Final Fantasy 1, the name Master Matoya. Oh, is that an FF1? Uh, there is a, there is an old witch, uh, and, and when you visit her, her cave plays the same theme, and it's, her name is Matoya. Oh, here it goes. 
So yeah, oh, Matoy. Damn. Matoy is a reference to FF1 also. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. I forgot that it just like explodes to life. <laughs> the most powerful golem. Yeah. Oh my god. I forgot. <laughs> Whoa. So that's how they make them so quickly. And I for and they just magic a bunch of rocks together and then activate it all. And it just put, it just assembles itself. <laughs> Combination of progress. Look at him go. Yeah, that's a hand alright. I like that's just glowing with power. It sure is. Wait until you can see it at night. Awesome. Oh man, it's a crazy monster face. Of course it does. <laughs> Holy crap. It's so cool. <laughs> Hard, but it's just like that's insane. <laughs> Can you imagine if you were just living in the area and you didn't know this was going down somehow? Yeah, that'd be nuts. Fortunately, we've in, we've uh, we've given notice to like everybody that this is happening. So. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the Sin Eaters are just exploding on it if they try to attack it. <laughs> Swat them like flies. Yeah, you got doing. this. If his hands are damaged, he won't be able to cling to the mountain. Oh, you, this was a terrible idea. All three marshals the eaters to his defense. This was only to be expected. <laughs> Come on, big guy! We must try and draw as many. We could really use some reinforcements. It may not be enough, but we have no other choice. Come on! <laughs> Is that? Oh, it's the fairies and the yeah, armor. Oh. There they are. Yeah. Yeah, why did we not summon them? It's just a running gag in the in the series that you keep forgetting to ask Faeol for help. <laughs> Look at her go. Kill them all. <laughs> In the struggles of men, but if yeah. our adorable sapling had come crying to us for help, he would of course have flown to her aid. Of course we yeah. would. Yeah. Yeah, come on, Farewell. You got this. <laughs> just shouts it. Just demanding. Yeah. I like that I like that Feo Ola is just like out of creation. It's like I'm gonna take these guys. Yeah. Eric, come on. Just gotta yank it down now. Nah. He's got it. He's done his job. I think they're mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> this I did not expect, but I will gladly accept the help. Yeah, all right. I will send word to Yostela and the others. Join them at the foot of Mount Gorg and be ready to make the ascent. Let's do this. Oh, shoot. 
Uh, well, you can send me a you can send me a party invite from the friend menu. Oh right, where are you? I'm flying back towards Amity. Yeah, ah, that's fine. Cause I I had been uh like uh, while you were watching cutscenes, I was playing games on my phone. <laughs> Slash watching cutscenes on stream. There we go. Oh, there you are. Okay, yeah. Ready for this? Yeah. Let's go. Here, hop on. Oh, right, I just do that. Alright, I'm on. Yeah. Let's do this. I believe I remember where the dungeon entrance is. No, I have to go up to, like, the top of the thing first. Hmm? Yeah. I mean, we're headed the right way, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, what he was, what he was telling you is go to the dungeon entrance. Which is over here. Uh, it says speak with Yishtola first, but I don't know if she's, like, at the entrance or not. Yeah, there she is. I, for a sec, I thought you were just gonna take us right up there, but no, I guess that's what the dungeon is. Yeah, I know, there's a, there's a big barrier there, I can't actually fly up to it. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Aaron's here. Tells the tan, hold to the mountain as planned, and we'll use this by as a bridge to reach Valtry's Sanction. Yeah, Sinners make us work forever, y'all, of course. Yeah, but we, if we carve a path through their ranks and meet with their master regardless... Alright, ready? Yep. Yeah. For the first! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Man, they should have all just done that weird, like, fist thing. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great. But yeah, the reason I say that we uh, we'll, uh, we could feasibly hit the trial uh, uh, after the dungeon is because the trial is immediately after the dungeon. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Mount Golg? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Easy. Instant Q. <laughs> tank, tank, uh, tank healer privilege. <laughs> Just got me on the DPS to actually catch up. This is always, always a problem. Here we go. <laughs> Let's do this crap! I, mean, I feel like the only thing that would make this thing cooler is if it was actively, like, on fire right now! If the golem was on fire? Yeah! <laughs> I love that you get, a, like, a nice clear shot of its face. <laughs> All right, Ray. Let's do this. So it is. This paradise isn't yours alone. All right, I. I could try go ahead, Bob. Be very careful here. I know my gear is not the best for this. Take it at your own pace. Yeah. If the DPS tries to rush ahead uh, at a pace you're not comfortable with, let him die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I should take this cat slow. <laughs> Oh, he's like trash swamped down. <laughs> he got some of them. 
Oh, that's so cool, though. <laughs> yeah, there, there was more to that group that was gonna attack us, but he killed them. That's that's also one of the things I love about this. It's like the golem is helping us. Yeah. I really when you think about why would he? These yeah. guys are just the enemy right now. They're attacking it, so of course. Yeah. Gotta get the barrier up. Uh. Wow, it feels like that didn't last at all. Oh crap. Targeting me. <laughs> yeah, that's not okay. I'm not gonna let you do that. We're all good. I am out. There we go. Fine. Yeah. Just get everyone. Screw it, I have AoEs now, I can take it. <laughs> Maybe a bullet waste there, but you know what, it's fine. Got a crazy blasting zone going on. Wait, no, lightning shot square, okay, yeah. Dang! <laughs> it's done even. This dungeon's really cool. <laughs> yeah! This is nothing rad. I don't know why I provoked him, I've already got these guys. <laughs> Everybody affected with that, I might as well pop this. Yeah. Or I should actually do my, like, heal combo now for, like, yep! You can focus on damage, I can heal you. Yeah. I feel like that's gonna be a bit of a tall order at the moment. No, you're fine. I don't feel nearly confident enough for it. I mean, you're using your mitigation, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. That's what it's for. See? Uh-oh. Here they come. Yeah, if using my mitigation, I'm still taking, like, a ton, though. <laughs> oh, jeez, yeah, gather yeah, that. Man, like, actually rushing through this multiple groups at a time must be intense. Oh, yeah. Alright, give me the stacks. Alright, yeah. Just a little more. Wait, that was the wrong thing. Yeah, whatever. Oh, he's knocking the obstacles away! <laughs> <laughs> Man, this golem's really way more active than I expected. I gotta catch up. I had to adjust something on my HUD. Alright, come okay, on, yeah. man. Yeah, that's fine, I'm coming. Okay, it's like a boss. Okay, we're good. I'm yeah. Alright, space it away for everyone, that's fine. Right, we finally get to fight the upping lion! <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Yeah, I need to make uh, it a little harder than that. Good, good. good ton. I gouge! No, get back here, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Uh, get to the middle of him? Okay, yep. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, I see it. They have little, like, things up here. Yeah. 
I do not remember what his mechanics are. Fortunately, they seem fairly. Okay. I'll just keep the explosions going. Oh, right, yeah, that. Yep. Big damage. Big, big damage. Oh, laser. All right, I just yeah, have to like keep on where the wind thinks face. Yeah, yeah, he's easy. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about what I've done with my target. Oh, oh, um, whoa! He does that, but then there's also exploding wind orbs out to the side, so you gotta watch for those too. Yeah, all right, makes sense. Get the Dandor time skill. Okay, yes. Whoa, my health is not okay. Working on it. Uh, Power of Light, okay, yes. Oh, geez, there's only so much I can do with this. You're good. Okay, watch out for the additional wind orbs. Or I should be okay. Wait, no, it's a bit too close. It's okay. Alright, whatever, it's fine. Come on, Gunblade! And I'm dead. Oh, shoot, yeah, you are. Uh, get up! <laughs> Unfortunately, it's <laughs> an AoE that everybody knows how to dodge. Just gotta focus on healing whoever's got aggro. Yeah, hopefully that's gonna be me for right now. Oh jeez, that's not good. I that just took so many of them. <laughs> At least he's nearly down. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna roll on these. I kind of need burst off. Go for it. Uh, aiming? Well, that's, that's range gear. Yeah, I kind of need burst stuff overall. Okay, fair enough. Get to some damage. All right, come on. All right, should be fine to like pull a bit harder then. I think I'd go a bit like. Well, I don't know. I really shouldn't risk it. We can try if you want. Although I think there's like an area of transit. Yeah, there's an area of transition, anyways. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Wow, this is very near-esque, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I was, I was gonna say, welcome to the copied... Oh, there is a... Okay, I thought our, I thought our samurai a bunch of hits, but there's a little safe spot over there that's hard to see because the white and the yellow blend in so hard. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that works. Alright, go on, guys. Onward to adventure. Also, I, I love that Vothry is just yelling at us from the top of the... <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. There you yeah, go, break the defending. Oh wow, this is very much just the copied city. <laughs> like Fothry's, straight up. Fothry's building his paradise. This paradise is near Automata. <laughs> <laughs> also, don't forget that you can change your Yeah. I probably should, but eh, whatever, it's fine. I mean, just, you can just, after we're out of this, just go to the character page and hit optimize real quick. 
Yeah, I, yeah. Wait, crap, I wasted that. Oh, whatever. Yeah, I probably should have checked off guys anyways, just in case. Uh, yep. Alright, yeah, that's good. Yeah, oh, jeez, some... we just gotta fight all of them now, huh? Yep. Oh, wow, that actually does blend in a lot. It's so hard to see. I don't know, like, it's cool that the whole area is, like, super white and, like, pure, like, pure white and everything. So I get it. The Sin Eaters, but also, like, I can't see that, man. Uh... Yeah. I don't know if it's because, like, maybe I've got a weird form of color blindness. I don't know. I, I, I like... I, your eyesight's have... kind of not great anyways. Yeah. Although you just said that you have trouble seeing it too. Yeah. Like, it's clear enough at the edge, but there's a second where it's like, oh, jeez. Like, uh, it'd be nice if just for this dungeon it was darker shade or something. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There we go. Right with the explosion, awesome. Second boss time. Uh, aiming, aiming. Screw it, that's fine. Oh. Okay, uh, this boss is kind of weird. Notice, notice that this thing is like a three by three grid, and we're standing on the three by three grid. Yeah. And that should help you understand its mechanics. <laughs> I don't think I understand this thing's mechanics. Oh, I missed one of the hits. Ah, oh, war, that's fine. Okay, I understand the mechanics now. Wait, no, there's a grip there. Right, yeah, I have to remember. Yeah, you need to be standing where he's not, where he doesn't have a glowing title associated. Oh, that's a weird one. Oh, like, so like stand here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got it. What a weird mechanic. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really like these stranger mechanics. Oh, God. And you're fine. <laughs> that was a tank buster. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's a tank buster and a half. Oh, right, it doesn't do melee attacks because it's a big floating... No, it kind of does, actually. Oh, jeez. Yeah, uh, we can get a stand in these. Yeah, I can't even stop this crap. <laughs> Or okay. light, okay, yeah, that's fine. Reduce its damage a little, maybe that'll help. He might change up his mechanics where we stand. Oh, uh. No, we still have to stand in the place, just be careful yeah. about it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've only got vague memory of how he looks. Okay, I got it. Uh, there's a ball that's probably going to explode. Uh, oh, so crap. Uh, pick your poison. Alright, you know what? That actually wasn't too bad, because I had tank crap going. <laughs> Yeah, that just hit like everything. Jeez. Yeah, that's just a that's just a raid wide. Oh, balls again. Over here with me should be safe. Yeah. I should start marking myself. <laughs> Context, please. Uh, like this. Oh, man. See me? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Wait, it just makes it so that people can fall me easily. Uh, well, I'm getting hit by something. 
Nope, we won. Oh, just in time then. Yeah, uh, people call this the Danger Dorito. <laughs> the Danger Dorito? Yeah. Yeah, because it's a triangle. Oh, man. You, you want to follow the person who has it so you don't get hit. Yeah, so alright. I get it now. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is he just have, like, bushes of- Oh, no, those are, like, sin ears and stuff. Yeah. Also, he's sending his harem after us. Yeah, straight up! At least he's an equal opportunity psychopath. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not using my heal combo, that's probably really bad. You're okay. Oh. Okay, we gotta take these. Yeah, they're almost dead. Easy. We're almost to the final boss of the dungeon. Okay, that's probably super good. Oh, there's Fending. Okay, yeah. Man, and it's, it's kind of crazy how fast you can just do that. What, just get, get the gear and then hit Optimize? Yeah, just switch yeah. out, like, mid-dungeon. Yeah, it's great. I should have everything. Oh boy, I need some mitigation. Uh, okay, let's just- oh yeah, thin air makes my heals free. I just have mechanics, I forget what they do. Uh... Okay, I'm very concerned. You're good. I gotcha. Okay, wait, why do that instinctually? That's not good! Uh, okay, uh, all my mitigation is used up at the moment. <laughs> oh, never mind, there's no mitigation. Let's pop the full heal on ya. Yeah. We got this. Together- oh, wow, that's a big throne. <laughs> Man, I wonder, well, I wonder where Valthry's up to. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that full heal, I should really be more careful with using that, Consider it's like a three minute cooldown. Yeah. Oh, it's purely for like, big emergencies. Uh, kind of like right now, but I don't have it now. Pop this, pop this, this. Ah. Uh. Stay in the bubble, and I can heal you better. I'm I'm I staying in the bubble. You're in it. You're in it. I was just, I was just making sure you know. <laughs> okay. We should have them. Now that there's like a couple gone, this is like way more manageable. Yeah. Okay. So this should like be doing it. I think that's ran to his thing anyways. Oh well. You're okay. Oh, I forgot about you. Oh, what the crap is? Oh, it's just got little orbs of holy. Uh, stay away from his left side. Yeah, that's quite a wind up you got there, Mister. Side. Oh, the orbs are shooting wherever. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, those aren't exploding. They're just... Oh, whoops. I'm a bad danger Dorito. Oh, no. You're hit. <laughs> You're a bad danger Nacho. Oh. Okay, no problem. Oh, it just Make forms a little bridge. Yeah. Collapses into a crap load of rubble. Oh, and man. now, it's the dungeon.
Well, this is exactly what I expected. Forgiven obscenity. Consort of, of sin. It's the leader of the harem. <laughs> Dang. Alright, Ray. Yep. Let's do this. Oh, that was a big waste, actually. Okay, mechanics of this fight. I should probably turn this thing away from the party just in case. Probably a good idea. A little bit more. Okay, that's good. Okay, get the OE off. Uh, I should have enough time for this. Nope. Oh, just barely. Uh, blessing grants you for a ring of something. Uh, oh! Ah. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, she's definitely got halos going on. Yeah, what was that? Uh, don't stand in front of... Okay, okay, yeah, it's like... Yeah, easy enough to sight read. It's like the, uh, the what's it called? The, uh, the last light warden we fought. Oh, wow, she's picking up so many halos right now. Yeah, I know what you mean, the big crazy feather one. Yeah. Uh, probably don't stand in front of her? Uh, oh. Oh. I guess we have to take him out. Oh, maybe. Uh. Wait, no, we have to be in front of this one. Oh, jeez, whoa, there's so many. Did I accidentally super bowlied? What the crap? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I did. <laughs> and I'm so sorry for that, but okay, I guess that's fair. Fine. In here. Got myself a crazy. I'm gonna kill everybody else. Just all my damage. Take all of it. <laughs> Alright, uh, the regeneration. Okay. Uh, halos, halos. Uh... Oh, they just go off one at a time. Okay, yeah, we just gotta pay attention to the order they... Uh, get to where, to, like, go to where they've already fired. Yeah. And I'm dead. Uh, no you're not, get up! <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, this this is intense. It's Fathery's last line of defense against us. Huh? No, I should I stand in that. Oh jeez, it's so hard to see though. I yeah, I can't see where the AOEs are. Like I can see it, but it's like, oh, that's raw. <laughs> I just straight up can't see it. Oh, I gotta kill this guy. He's dead. How did he die? I don't even know, man. I guess he took too much aggro, because I had to build it back up. The if provoke, right? Yeah, I probably should have just used that. I wasn't yeah. thinking. Yeah, yeah, you need to be using pro uh, uh... Die! Okay. Alright, got some hits off. I'm gonna stand right here. I didn't get hit. Cool. I did it okay. right. I wasted all my charges, but it's fine. This, this, drop this. Oh wow, that did so much though. I like the soundtrack has the little, like, you know, kind of contorted, like, rift in it, you know? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, we gotta watch for donuts. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna stand right here, and then as soon as the first one goes off, I'm gonna move to the, to the first one. No, but it goes too fast. Oh, oh you just have to wait at the very oh. end, and then, like, yeah. I see. Yeah, distance away from the initial K-top. Okay, I see. 
Don't worry, we'll we'll get the danger triangle strats right eventually. <laughs> The Danger Dorito, I think you said. Danger Dorito, yeah. I, d I do want to emphasize that this role that I'm doing, uh, trying to keep everyone safe, is really reserved. I'm good at the game. <laughs> I heal myself, or I'm gonna die. Uh, and don't have Super Bowl Light. Okay, ooh. yeah. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, plane sphere given astro yes. Forgive he still has to plane. fight Valtteri himself huh, what we still have to fight Valtteri himself yep Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna pass on that, because it's gonna be too long for anyone to use it. I'm guessing you're not really playing Astro at all. Nah. I, like, I unlocked it, and I'm like, oh, I'll lull this up one day, but that day is not today. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Dang. Oh, I got a player commendation. <laughs> nice. So I guess I did something good. I don't think I got one out there that... Oh wait, I haven't left the dungeon. I don't know yet. <laughs> the end is near my no, friends. I didn't get one. We have found <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh well, it So it's happens. like one for me and like a bunch to the effing like DPSs. Yeah, I gave one to the red mage I think they are. Were. <sighs> and now I wait for you to watch the cutscene and get us going for the trial. I don't like the way his voice is echoing. That implies there's more than one of them. <laughs> uh, how do I turn on repeatable cutscenes? Yeah. And I do not doubt that you considered yours well worth the cost. I was even prepared to believe that the end might justify the means. Ignorant as I was, I had hoped that you might mend your ways and join hands with us. That we might strive together for the happiness of all. But no more. Your actions cannot be reconciled with your words. Yeah, come on, man. Peace for all, you say. Yet when you were threatened, your first act was to sacrifice your own people in order to save yourself. If your paradise can be rebuilt so long as you alone survive, it exists not for the people. It exists solely for your twisted pleasure. Heck yeah, well said, Alpha Node. <laughs> People won't submit to your will, for we each have our own. Yeah. I made a promise to a noble soul, a woman who saw fit to entrust me with her legacy, and I mean to keep it. Well said, not Memphilia. <laughs> Everyone Read. who stands with us has something precious, something that they cherish and would die to protect. They know their yeah. own hearts. They know what they want for this world. Heck yeah, JPEGs! <laughs> and by lending their strength to our cause, they have spoken. Yeah. No matter how hard you may try to bend the world to your will, we will never yield! Silence! Not another word! You will learn your place. I'm kind of surprised Vol 3 is like the big final thing. Yeah, 
chosen to rule over creation by right of transcendence. My very existence is virtuous. I am perfect, immaculate. He seems disinclined to grant us an audience. Yeah. Let's grant him one then. We will hold the eaters here. Come, let's finish this. The fact that like Alphados and the others were able to actually deal with this crap is nuts. <laughs> Crown of Immaculate is now available. <laughs> Heck yeah, let's go. Wait, is this just the location you could go to? I don't think I can go. Okay, yeah, it's so it's just a fancy area in between like here and the thing. Okay, yeah, got it. Yeah, that's like this is a nice looking zone though, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's pretty cool. If there's a way back here, I would like to. This area is, would be cool for like screenshots and. Yeah. A uh, trace of above the giant tiles bore of the collective hopes of the realm's people. You have carved a path to Valthry's sanctum. There you core the unreprinted Valthry, who declares his intent to expunge you and rule over Croatia as an immaculate being. It struggles in what may live a welking dream in a false paradise, or will he live a painful existence in a harsh reality, yet to be free to follow his own heart? Beneath the blazing sky, the battle for the fate of the world will unfold. Yeah. Heck yeah, let's do this shit. <clears throat> I've never healed this fight, and I barely remember its mechanics. Let's go. Awesome, let's do it. This is exactly the situation I was hoping for. You cued exactly. us up. You, you, didn't, you didn't clear the dungeon. Wait, what? Ah, so, fuck. Uh, uh, where are you typing? Yeah. Uh, I'm party leader. Can I abandon? Fifteen minutes must elapse. Uh, well, oh, crap. We might as well just run it. Yeah. All right. So it is. <sighs> Dang it. Sorry, I, I fucked up, man. Sorry. I fucked up big time. Like, everybody could just leave, but I think we would suffer a penalty. Yeah, and then we'd have to, like, weigh it out and just... Uh. <laughs> like, well, people will, like, leave after that, I don't blame them. Dungeon's so cool, we'll do it again. Yeah. Man, I do I even keep this in the upload? Uh, I don't know. We can. I... And I'll, I'll probably just cut, I guess, because like it's it's gonna be such like a tone breaker, you know. Try to agree. Let, let screw it. Let's see if we can grab us. A... Grab what? Pull, pull aggro on these guys and push ahead. Let's see if we can handle a second. I'm, I'm down for it. <laughs> okay, just just heal as good as you can, man. I'm on it. All right, let's try this. Uh, we're gonna be trying extreme mode anyways by like actually going all like in on this. Then like we might as well, right? <laughs> yeah. That good, it's fine, whatever. Pop, uh, pop presence of mind so I can cast faster. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna get this going. Okay, yeah, this actually isn't as bad as I was expecting. Yeah, I just have to be a bit more confident in your abilities, because, like, yeah, you're... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I'm we're not... gonna see what it's like to rush through the dungeon now anyways. <laughs> that was the thing we were talking about, wasn't it? Yeah. You are like, oh, I can't, I can't imagine going through this super fast or whatever. We find out. Uh, that's... Oh, yikes. Yeah, one dude over here. No one dude over here? Alright, where's the dude I'm missing? Oh, you. Alright, that should get him. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I, I just need to focus on, like, everything. Um, yeah, no, Super Bowl lied. Oh, God, I was... I had you above half. <laughs> yeah, but they're doing a lot. I had you above half. You were fine. It's fine. This is what Super Bowl lied is meant for. <laughs> yeah, for scaring the crap out of the healer. <laughs> Did you, like... I just link this, but there's like a pretty great meme where it's like, yo, it's like this rescuer who's like got like a goat and like, you know, this crevice and they're pulling him out, you know? Yeah. And the goat's like, you know, got the like tank symbol on and the rescuer's got like the healer symbol. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, like, gets him oh, out of the crevice, yeah. like, heals him off, and the goat just runs off, pops Super Bowl <laughs> line, then falls into the thing again. <laughs> <laughs> right, grab him, let's go. Okay, let's do this. Speed run this shit, let's do it! Oh wow, that did so much damage! Okay, the laser... Stand Holy inside. crap, that was like... Or the DPSs can just take it. What was that, like a third of my health? Jeez. That's not okay. Why did I waste my full heal on that guy? That's a good question, why did you do that thing? Pan panic heals. <laughs> he stood in the laser and just ate a third of his health, uh, like two. Well, I guess we're not so different, you and I. <laughs> <laughs> Wind. I'll just get up a bit, and I'll just pop all the stuff. Alright, con Advent Tear. Uh, eye gouge, yes. More wind, but this time with balls. Alright, got the balls. Wait, no, I was a bit too close. You don't love it's fine. Tank privilege, you didn't take too much damage. Yeah. Oh, I'm out of MP. Oh, that's not okay. It's fine. I, I, I wasn't relying on my heat, uh... Okay, they realized to get out of the way that... Okay, yeah. Wind of Falls. I should get a little bit further back from the wind with balls. Yeah, there we go, that's perfect. Alright, avoid the balls, avoid the wind. Let's get down to our time going again. Didn't mean for that to rhyme, but screw it, and oh! I'm dead. And you're alive. Wow, that's, that's just like one claw swipe. That, yeah, it's the tank buster. I wasn't keeping you healthy enough. Like, uh, I don't think there's even a skill associated with that. It just happened. Uh, they're pro there's probably a cast thing. I just wasn't paying attention. Bracelet to scouting. Also, here there's this. You can get more tank. 
Yeah, that's good. <laughs> we'll probably need it for Vol 3 anyways. Yeah. Grab some dudes. Alright, let's try and speed through this. There we go, gotcha. Oh, fighting them at the demon wall night. Yeah, not the best idea. Sorry, what are you saying? I was just saying fighting these guys at the You keep cutting out, man. I don't know why. Find these things at the Doom Wall something. Might not be a good idea. Right, that's what I thought you were trying to say. <laughs> I don't know why I keep cutting out. Yeah, that's super weird. At least we got him right to the Doom Wall. Yeah. I don't think this thing's actually too hard, because I don't think it does physical hits, does it? Like, it, it just might. does the skills? It that, it'd still be annoying trying to fight the things or dragging the around. Yeah, I so, that's super yeah. true. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay, wow, it actually goes down pretty fast. Yep. Alright. Yeah, like, all things concerned, we are not, like, taking too long to actually get through this. Yeah. The first, the first time through a dungeon, it's like, okay, and whatever. And the second time through, it's like, alright, I know how things work, and I know what's actually scary. And yeah, what to avoid. Let's grab everything. So. Yeah. <laughs> we know not to drag our feet now. Alright, oh, he pulls up another demon wall here, though. You know what, screw it, we're just gonna fight them through the demon wall. We sure are. Oh crap, I can't see it. I can't either, I think I'm about to need a hit. Yep, yeah, there. Nah, it's uh, fine. Here. Arms length, camouflage, okay, I'm good. I was gonna pop all the stuff for a second. Probably a really good idea right now, not gonna lie. Okay. Man, it's weird, because, like, I'm usually way more careful in dungeons and, like, the playthrough, because I'm always, like, freaking out. <laughs> but, nah, <laughs> this is just fine. Okay. Alright, Dune Wall down. Let's do this. Right, grab the treasure, though. Earrings of healing. Oh, I already have this. Alright. Ryan, this one shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, this, this fight's easy peasy. And now that I know, I can just power through this a little bit. I'm just keeping a shield. Although I'm my white mage, so my shield is a little baby shield. Oh, we randomize this thing each time. Yeah, it's not always the same pattern. Good to know. Alright, get this, should be fine. Do the full combo. Wait to that a little bit, but whatever. Uh, Dandor time skill, okay, yes. Balls. Oh right, the balls. I should be safe from the... Wait, no, as those as... balls, you mean. Yeah. I was looking out for the wrong balls. We're good. There's too many somebody... balls to keep track of. As long as somebody's there to take the hit and to mitigate the damage from it, we're good. Whoa. Wait, right here. 
And I moved out of the way just in time to get the head. <laughs> Those are some optimal fail strats right there. Oh, this should be easy. Oh, never mind. Yeah. There's balls everywhere. Uh, I mean, we, we just get right in front of the boss right here. Yeah, or that. Okay, dup, dup, dup. Get this, get that, get that. Okay, yes. Uh, probably. Cartridge. Here? There we go. You're good enough. And dead. I said dead. There we go, okay, yeah. Tarot of Amy is bad to the list. Uh, right, what does this stuff even look like? I assume it's a bunch of white equipment. So it probably looks pretty cool and like holy and stuff, right? Yeah, it probably looks pretty neat. I don't think I've ever gotten enough of the pieces to actually see what it looks like. I don't know, if I, if I get more healing... Uh, if I get more actual healing gear and not accessories, maybe I'll pick it up to see what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, crap, you guys super good? Okay, yeah, now we can do this. Oh, uh, yeah, bro. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna super bowl eyed. Uh, yeah, sure. Just make this easy on us. So for people who might not know, what super bowl eyed does is it makes you invincible, but reduces your health to one. So it is very situationally super useful. It's to give, a he give the healer a heart attack. Yeah, pretty much. I saw... <laughs> I saw somebody post a screenshot where they've got Bolide all over the screen <laughs> in various locations. <laughs> and they play with keyboard and mouse. So it's like, uh, uh... They're playing the game, but they have to click around and, in, a way, in a way where they avoid clicking on any of the Super Bolide buttons. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. It's hilarious. Alright, yeah, this is like the final stretch already, isn't it? Yep. Alright, that's actually not too bad. The more forgiven. Yeah, because we can't, like, rush these guys at the moment. You yeah, screw it, I'll just go DPS for a second. Go for it. Okay, that's enough of that then. Kinda of dying right now. You're okay. I like Losing to imagine your... like Alpha Note and the Yars are on their big file stand and they just look over here climbing back up. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? <laughs> There's like, I thought you were after Valtteri. It's like, I am, I just fell down. <laughs> More or less, that's what happened, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He fell off the mountain, we gotta climb back up. <laughs> Pretty much. You know, it's screwed, I think I'm just gonna keep this, why not? Like, this... Maybe it's, like, worse than it feels, but it feels like we're getting through this pretty quickly and pretty succinctly. Yeah. It's kind of fun to see, to watch the, the CS2. To see us actually be confident. <laughs> yeah. Until the final boss where I can't see any of the... Probably die. Oh, uh, speaking of which... Ow! Okay, yeah, that's the give your tank a heart attack button. Huh, what is? <laughs> Probably get to the boss mechanics. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> So I did too many balls. Yeah. A lot, Wait, a lot of pressure on the healer because it's like, oh, if I die, the... 
<laughs> yeah, if you die, we're fucked. Oh, right, not... this boss. Yeah, that's not always true. Yeah, sometimes you have a red mage and that's kind of alright. Yeah, res mage is powerful. I'm just gonna reduce your attack, cause I don't trust this. That's a, that's just a simple AoE. <laughs> At least we get to hear Vol 3's wonderful voice once again. <laughs> uh, so I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, okay, you have to be like not too close, but not too far away. Yeah, there's a very very slight gap. That's near impossible to see because the stage is white and yellow. <laughs> oh, I was sure she was just shooting all kinds of. T all right, whatever. That's fine. No, I just gotta not be standing in the, in where the circle is. Uh, okay. okay. And this she's gonna start using like skills now that I've used my actual like you know <laughs> physical dodge. Well, this is where she multiplies herself. Yeah. Okay, it works like the other AoE, so just get near one of their we end stand really close. Okay. Yeah, okay. I got it. I feel like I got it. I didn't get hit either of those times, so I think I do. Right, have to have like a burst up for getting the dandruff time actually off, otherwise it's kind of not that useful. Maybe you pretty healthy so you don't die to a tank buster. Right, I have to actually use my defensive buffs for it more often. Okay, remember to stand in front of the one that's kind of far. Okay, yeah, so we want to stand like in front of this. Yeah, okay, I get it now. Yeah, because it goes in like the same light. Like, Pattern, which means it takes a second. I... What? I thought I moved out of the way in time, but I guess... Not. Oh, well, that did a lot. That was a lot. Okay, yeah. <sighs> <coughs> Sorry, I don't have time to meet the microphone. I'm kind of concentrating. <laughs> I got all this stuff going. If nothing else, I feel like I'm becoming confident as a white mage. Yeah. So I, I wasn't super sh sure of myself, but I, I didn't really do high end. Yeah. I now we're definitely putting your skills to the test. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe this time I'll do this right. Oh no, it's this phase. This is fine. I'm just gonna stand like right here. Yeah. And then she's gonna do lasers. So I'm gonna stand right here. No, die though. Die yeah. though. <laughs> I think attacking them actually does hurt her. It might. Yeah, it seems to. I got DPS using their little bit for once. Yeah. Okay, that that wasn't nearly as bad actually. <laughs> we kind of like destroyed that one. Uh what forgiven hate? Is is this just a box? Screw it, I'll roll in a box. It's a minion. And you know, you did a good god thing. I'll give you that. One of the randoms got it. Man. <laughs> Ooh, that's a weird looking gun. What is that? The Forgiven's Ring of Healing? No. What's what this? actually does this look like? I should actually be checking this stuff out. Uh, oh, couldn't get a good look at. Oh well. Sorry. It, it's, I'll, I'll put it outside of my house. No, I was trying to look at the gun. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, whatever, it's fine. And no player okay. commendation. Uh, same. Uh, <laughs> Even though we did so much better. Yeah. Well, they don't have that context. Okay, make sure you uncheck. Yeah, why is this Nare unchecked? That's crazy. So because we have 50 50 shot to get either, and we just failed. Yeah. Pretty much. It's fine. Okay, let's let's do the right dungeon then. <laughs> yeah. It's not even a dungeon, it's a trial. Let's do the right one then. Do, do, let's do, not do, fall do. off the mountain and have to climb our way back up through all of Baldry's minions a second time. I'm just gonna teleport to my house and see what the gold planter looks like. Actually, oh, never mind, here we go. I was gonna <laughs> check out what the gear actually looked like, but I guess we're just here now. Yeah, I gotta get out of this loading screen. <laughs> Come on. There it is. Also, I forgot I could have played tank because this, uh, because trials require two tanks. Yeah. And I could have played healer, because trials require two healers. Yep. Can you imagine we just, like, go into a dungeon, and it's like we're both healing, and no one's actually facing the boss head-on? <laughs> Here we go. Oh and... lord, he coming. Oh, he coming. I feel like there honestly is something to be said about, like, yo, doing this as a tank so I can actually be, like, the focus of the action as the stream's happening. Because that, that kind of feels like how this is supposed to go down canonically, right? Mm. Like, Warrior of Light's literally, like, yo, facing these guys head on, like, face to face, basically. Not gonna lie, can I expect that he'd, like, transform beforehand, but alright. Also, the theme for this fight is awesome. Oh, yeah. I got their little, like, shadow standout. <laughs> Yeah, I should probably grab these minions. Yep. I should probably keep them from just murdering everyone. Oh jeez, tank can actually use a bit of like okay there we go. Got him. Oh, I can't actually be facing him. Oh, shoot! Did you not notice? I did not notice. Oh, that's not great. There we go. We're good. We're good. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. I got these guys. <laughs> All three noises intensify. Part <laughs> 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 of light. Okay, I'm not facing him. Okay. If nothing else, we're keeping up, so that's always a good thing. Yeah. Yes, can I expect him to, like, go up and, like... I don't know what the heck I was expecting. 
guess I was expecting him to turn to like the Knights of the Round or something. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Knights of the Vol 3. <laughs> like it's the same idea, but it's like his take on it. <laughs> Maybe oh, here we go. Maybe you're expecting something like this. Yeah, I kind of was. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, no, he's hot. What the crap? That ain't Vol 3. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! This fight is so cool. <laughs> now the real fight. Yeah, somebody else in chat. Oh no, he's fine. <laughs> he became innocent. <laughs> Just unload all the guns. <laughs> So yeah, Fat Vaughn is a door bus. <laughs> uh, Just all the damage I could possibly do. Why'd I use camouflage? That does nothing while I'm not being targeted. Yeah, the other tank main tanking? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, uh -oh. as long as he's got this, I'm fine with it. That's the other guy. Yeah, I'm usually pretty content to take off tank. Ah, Dragoon's okay. giving me a power boost! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, Dragoon's dead! Oh, no. Uh, you. Get back up. Yo, what does Dragoon's calf want to do? And... there. Okay, Dragoon's fine, Dragoon's alive. I think. Yeah, the other tank, other is, tank dead. is dead. Uh, I have to take provoke. over. Yeah, hit provoke. Alright, I got him. Okay. Tank's back up. Uh, okay, what is this? Um. I assume we have to kill the minions. Yeah, yeah, he's charging up for something. Wow, it's taking a lot of damage, though. Okay. Screw it, just burn everything. That guy's dead again, pick him back up. This uh, seems like a bad time for our, like, DPS to just be going down. Yep. Okay, dead. Kill the middle one. All right, oh, come on. Uh, I don't know if he, I don't know if thin air works on res, but I'll find out. We don't have enough time for this. Oh, I got picked back up anyways. Okay. Dare your time, uh, just in case. Oh, okay. Good. Ninety-five percent. That was really close. I was gonna stack up in case. Wow, that actually did a lot. Yeah, that killed me. Well, it's lost. I'm still alive. I think the other healer just limit for <laughs> Alright, this is the time for it. That's fine. I am terrified of this, of doing stream into the uh, stack up. All right, yeah. Oh, this AOE spins. 
kind of. I mean, not not kind of. It does. Oh, jeez, I am down. Yeah. Uh, time to get to the sides. Pick you up. All right, someone else got me. I got you. Hey, off tank. Could you just like, yeah, just for a second? Sorry, I mean main tank. I guess I am off tank. Oh, Dang, man. those those attacks hit so hard, though. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Wait, where's the stack? Uh... I think I missed it, that's kind of not great. Okay, it's fine. Oh no, his sights are on me. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna focus on surviving for a second. I guess that didn't work out too well. Living dead. Oh no, he cheated. <laughs> oh, okay, we're actually raising people. Uh, maybe. I thought we were just, like, gone for a second. Uh, you get back up. Uh, oh right, stack marker. Uh, did it, uh, Harv Light. Okay, hopefully that's fine. Okay, okay, okay. All right, this guy's nuts. Woo. Right, Healing this is the this one that spins. Healing this fight is hard. <laughs> Okay, I think I avoid all of them somehow. Pick this dude up. Or are you ball three? I'll break to beat you, man. <laughs> Let's do this. I guess he got healed up to full at some point. Unless he's gonna unload everything. <laughs> like, I'll admit I'm not playing perfectly. This is still nuts. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, he keeps doing this move. <laughs> Oh, holy crap. Okay. I should honestly probably get Aurora going and just give it to the other tank. That'd probably be a really smart thing to do at the moment. Sure, whatever Aurora does. Yeah, it's a region move. I okay, could just give yeah. it to whoever. <laughs> yeah, as off tank, it's not a bad idea to play. If you, uh, to if play you pseudo to. healer. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, like even as not even as because of night. Uh, if the tank, if the other tank is, you get a nasty tank buster. I'll drop the blackest knight on him, which is like the best shield move in the game. <laughs> because the fun thing about Dark Knight is you. Can Pass that on to your allies. <laughs> oh, that's pretty fun. Oh, uh, no. Uh, in here. Live. Crap, I'm the only tank I can't eat a roar right now. I heal. 
<laughs> Man, I... We had acknowledged it, I love that this is just the main theme, but it's like, remixed all crazy. Oh, dang, Vol 3. Yeah, the Foul Light Warden was not a disappointment. Oh, that fight is so cool, and I appreciate it so much. You it's actually... Sorry, you, cry. you appreciate it so much what? I appreciate it so much more now that I've played it as a best actually try. Oh man, now you play it as like a healer is what you're saying, right? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> oh, jeez. We got two commentations for that. Honestly, I probably both well earned. I didn't get any. <laughs> That fall three? See, it's finally over then. Now now it turns to all of Norva, it brings salvation to both of our worlds. Upon speaking with Ryan, several cutscenes will play in sequence. <laughs> you love to see it. <laughs> you return here, I speak with the sentry post at the entrance of Mount Golg. I mean, at this point we kind of have to, right? Yeah. <sighs> That'll be like the end of the stream, I guess. Cause, jeez. Yeah. yeah, it's a good place to stop it. It it's so weird hearing his normal voice come out of this. Yeah. What the fuck do you mean by father? Is is this actually a big Hohenheim? No, I'm not gonna help you. I refuse. Well, hope that plan of yours is, you know, good enough, Oregon. Otherwise, this is gonna be pretty rough for, like, everyone. Look, the sky. Whew. Well, we did it. But what cost? And nothing bad went. Uh, nothing bad ever happened. I like how this entire time I've been super specifically like, hey, 
can we get this crap fixed before it becomes a problem? And now it's like seconds away from becoming a problem. Well, now we've got an echo flashback. The whole city would have been overrun, raised to the ground. Yet they dare to complain about casualties? Spare me. I'll wager they were put up to it by those wretches who seek to usurp me. They're stirring up the citizenry. But if they think I will yield to the likes of them, they are gravely mistaken. To be subjected <coughs> to such deplorable treatment, such ingratitude. You have my sympathy, sir. You do so much good for this city, and you could do so much more were you not surrounded by fools. <coughs> oh, is this in itself? <laughs> Might be. Who are you? You're not supposed to be in here. My apologies for the intrusion, but I come bearing a proposal. One that will ensure the longevity of your reign. Oh, Emmett Shelk was the one who's like, hey, I'll make your son a light warden. Bring hither a light warden. By giving its power to the babe within your lady wife's womb. We shall create a transcendent being, a king to rule over all. And as sire to the king, your authority will never again be in question. <laughs> Amazing. Before my birthday, they behave as docile pets. Dang. This line's been here for a while, then. With this gift, my yep. land should be guaranteed power for perpetuity. <clears throat> we shall rule the whole world. By all means, sir. United under Yulmor's banner, men will cease fighting and abandon their ambitions. Well, you say yes, that. They will grow fat and complacent, and in their sloth, seal your supremacy. So I guess this was to, like, hasten the rejoining by just, you know, making the light worse. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, so, oh, what's that thing I was super concerned about? <laughs> so Vothri's a bit of a tragic figure because he didn't choose to be the way he was. He was infused with, like, light energy as a baby and was raised being told he was a god. Yeah, but he also chose to do all the stuff of his own will anyways. Yeah, but your upbringing can influence a lot. Like, influence the way you act a lot. Like, Vothry didn't stand a Yeah, he champ. was a spoiled brat. I have no sympathy yeah. for him. Oh, dang. Yeah, you can't really hold it. <laughs> It's a bit too much. The combined power of every light warden is too terrible a burden for any one soul to bear. Yeah, you think? <clears throat> and so I shall relieve you of it. He's sacrificing himself. Oh, this was totally Oranger's plan. I will channel this profusion of power to the Crystal Tower and use it to travel to other worlds. As I have dreamed of doing ever since I first learned of their existence. Oh, so you're kind of using me then, I huh? To remain here in this dying realm when they might go elsewhere and begin anew. Not I. And thus. Thus did I use you. No, no, I don't believe you. It doesn't make sense. Damn you. We won't let you do with her as you please. No, love do it. This seems like a good plan to me. Please, I beseech you. 
Like, it would have been great if he told this to us beforehand. But, like, yeah. Is all a fiction. Such vaguely defined acts of teleportation stand no chance of success. Because oh dang! Will never live to see another world, as he knows only too well. Then, what does he mean to do? Eh? He means to take the light with him into the rift, where he will die. Ah, uh, okay. So he is just sacrificing himself. From the beginning, yeah. He intended. Yeah, to he he was just trying to play the. Friend and nor friend. At journey's end, an opportunistic thief makes off with the hero's prize. A paltry way to end a chapter, I guess. <clears throat> Yet your tale will continue, and my role in it will scarcely be remembered. Okay. Don't look at my hair pixels. <laughs> Worry not. Whatever should become of me, I will be happy and free, safe in the knowledge that I have played my part. Oh my god, he's a kitty! <laughs> Call him by his name! That <laughs> I actually don't remember. Maybe you'll remember it. He was- no, it's that guy from the, like, the raids, isn't he? Yeah, from- yeah, it's- Yeah, the guy from the, like, void raids or whatever. Okay, yeah. Yeah, from the Crystal Tower raids. It's Grahatia. For believing. Fare you well, my friend. My inspiration. Dang, I don't expect him to come back. So, back when you were like, is he hitting on me? And <laughs> He looks up to the Warrior of Light a lot. That, yeah. the, his experience with us, like, he really, uh, yeah, he looks up to us a lot. Yeah, that actually explains it quite a bit. Damn it! Yeah. Why'd we not? S I mean, of course the final bad guy him is. Why wouldn't it be? Yeah. Only those who possess the royal eye of the Alagar Imperial line are capable of controlling the Crystal Tower. Such individuals do not exist in the first. All right, all right. Therefore, in all likelihood, the Exarch arrived here with. This much I had surmised, yet I could not discern his grand scheme. To think that he went through all this trouble for the sake of a single hero. It's almost admirable in its absurdity. Alas, it is not your grand scheme that will succeed, but ours. So is this all just a ploy to create the ultimate light warden? Are we gonna become the calamity? But whether he remains so depends on you. I really should have seen this coming way harder, honestly. So he actually thought we could do it. Maybe. Alright, well, what do you intend to do? Because we know he was the one who made Ball 3. Yeah. I am an Asian. My heart's sole desire is to usher in the great rejoining. A 
hundred years ago, I entrusted my comrade Logriff with the task of increasing light sway over this world. This we sought to do by manipulating heroes. Oh, so you're behind Ardbird. Just straight up. The desired result. Yeah. I created Vorthry. Thanks to your meddling, that too has ended in failure. What was your true purpose in approaching us? Yeah, good question. By twelve, boy, have I not told you before that everything I said was the truth? You were specimens by which I might gauge man's potential as it stands. And we let but him you down. Had an interest in you, genuinely considered taking you on as allies. So, like, if we were able to beat Valthry and contain all the light, he would have been like, you know what, this is good enough. Maybe. You know, he's like, I'll at least postpone my plans for a bit and give you more time. Yeah, it's hard to say because it didn't actually happen. If not, then she, and by extension you, would be of no use to me. It was as simple as that. So, we've been found wanting. How does So, what does he mean by have no use? What does he want? There was no guarantee that we would cooperate. What then? Then I simply kill you all. At the very least, yeah, it fair. restore the world to the way it was before you went about trouncing like walls with me. Yeah, I that's super fair. It's like, hey, what well, if we turned against you? Oh, then I will have just murdered you. Yeah, Emmett Silk, there was no, there was no true stakes for Emmett Silk at the time, because he could just reset everything as it was. Yeah. And yeah, had Grahatia's plan to take somewhere else and just make it so it wasn't here anymore, uh, yeah, that would have actually thrown a wrench into Emmett Silk's plans. will serve to engulf the world in light. Those in your company will likewise turn into sin eaters, and in time you will succumb to your base instincts and hunt innocents to feast on their sweet, sweet ether. Ding. Those few the will left to fight may rise up against you, but before your absolute might and yeah, of course, you becoming the biggest, baddest light warrior yeah. is a consequence that he's okay with. Yeah, I feel like whoever gets, like, the Wolf Heidelin's power next probably isn't gonna be up for this. <laughs> oh, the irony. What Vorfri achieves from bliss. my welcome. I shall look forward to seeing you bring the world to its knees, hero. Yeah, we really should have figured out another way to deal with this while we had the chance. Well, this this was the plan. I have not to show from the the yeah, plan. but we should have had plan B. <laughs> well, no one expected Emmett to pop a gun and shoot him in the back. No one expected this, like, weak mage who's away from his power source to die during, like, a big crazy battle. I did not expect that I could learn aught from man, but I may yet learn something from all the knowledge he had hoarded for his precious Like, hero. like what would have happened if he tried to absorb the light and he went Sin Eater before it could actually teleport away? I don't know. Probably wasn't. Uh, he was probably gonna like channel it. In. I think that was his plan, so it wouldn't like consume him. Because I, if I remember correctly, the crystal tower is a big beacon for storing energy. Yeah. Your friends are now your foes. If you do not kill them, they will kill you. When it all becomes too much to bear. Seek me out at my abode in the dark depths of the tempest. 
you when you say too much to bear into madness with some dignity far from prying eyes wait am I not gonna go sin eater like right now no Well, then there's still time for us to figure something out, isn't there? Yep. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm just like, I'm taking this all in because it's like, huh. Because <laughs> it's like, most of that feels like it went pretty much exactly how I kind of expected, but it's also still kind of nuts. I've been, I've been waiting for, to get, there's a lot of stuff. Up. But yeah, I've been waiting to get here. Well, what now? Also, fun fact: there's just there's just a minion you get later. That's the Exarch with his hood on. After you come yeah, you mentioned it earlier. I oh yeah, I did. Yeah. So yeah, now now you see why that would have been a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a cat, a red-headed cat boy. Oh. <laughs> you. She's only delayed the inevitable. Oof. And that's also something else I mentioned that uh, can use her powers to hold back the light. But it's by no means a permanent solution. Still need to see it. Yeah. Hmm. I must be like someone else who can take some of the energy away. No, because like I said, any you give any light to anyone else, tip the balance too much, and they'll start turning into a sin eater. Sin eater. Ugh. So, question: What if we like somehow manage to grab Emmett Shulk and we force light into him? Hmm. What if? Because like. As an Asian, he could probably take a lot, but at the Prob same time, it's like, maybe he'd also be good enough to, like, send it right back. That's also true. Because of you, and the power you absorb from the waters. And unfortunately, all your heart goes undone. Yeah. <laughs> we just have to beam struggle the light into him. <laughs> Just beam struggle it into his face and then teleport away. Now they're out there trying to allay the people's fears while searching for a way to save you. Man, can we just shove all this light into the giant Talos? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's. I don't think that's how it works. We shove it all into the mana crystals, and the Talos slowly becomes a sin eater. I don't think it would, since it's an inorganic be or like a you know like like a structure. Yeah, I guess at that point we'd just be like shoving it back into the land, wouldn't we? Maybe I don't know. All I can imagine is that we're going to use this light to power one big massive attack to murder Emmett Shulk. <laughs> like, that's the only way I could see this ending, because it's like, oh, we're overcharged with energy, huh? Well, what if we use it for something really big and stupid? Sorry. <laughs> I could roll a chair on him. 
<laughs> oh, holy crap. So that's the end of the quest, huh? Yeah, that was the end of, uh... Whew. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I, I think this is time to just call it a stream. Yep, I... I, I couldn't let it end the actually... ...to film, right? Yeah. Even so, yeah, if the next... scene afterwards kind of long. Yeah. So yeah, next time, just... Yeah, I guess the final boss, maybe. Uh, no. <laughs> no. There's a whole series of... Whole series of what? Events. There's like a whole other area uh, we haven't been to yet. By oh, the way... Really? Yeah, by the way, you're pretty much free to do the virtue quests now. Yeah. Because you're going to need to have one of those quest lines done soon. Okay, so like, we should like, next week we should just do the cardinal virtues then, right? Yeah, we can do it this Friday if you want. Yeah, sorry, that's why I meant like next session. Yeah. Yeah, that'd probably be like the smart way to kind of handle this, because this is the point where it's like, you know, like it's a nice kind of clean break in the story and we should just kind of like get through it. Yeah. Uh, for the sake of getting things done relatively efficiently, I would pick one that you feel like you... Like I really that. want to finish? Yeah, I would just pick one that you want to do on stream, and if you want to time. Yeah. We'll, we'll do one, do the story, and we can come back and do the others, I guess. If you want. Uh, I, I, I just think it'd be stream. Uh, uh, let's see. For the sake of... I, I just gotta think, because there's some pre There's some what? Am I cutting out really bad? Yeah, you're cutting out really bad. Like, I'm getting the gist of it, but it's, like, not great. Ugh, Discord! Um... I, basically, I have to think of the ones that I... To that suggest you, The ones that would be most interesting, right? Yes. Yeah, alright. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll be back to this Friday, then. I guess I'll see you guys around later. Later.